Close the pages for during this now. We will get Malibu a college fund. This is a college fund. Just Trish, but not just Trish, just Trish and Tana T squared. She got me a freaking me not swearing in the first two minutes so we get monetized. (laughs) Bedazzled T microphone. I walk into this house and I'm framed on the wall behind us with Malibu. I'm framed on the wall out there three times. Three times. Like it's becoming the Tana Trish. It's the Tana Trish show. Anytime. I I would literally ask you every month. I think so far I've asked you every month, but I have to like sometimes I have to be like chill. I'm like, okay, it's like no like November. I was like, let me just chill for a minute. No, I will come on every (laughs) single time. Not kidding. The feeling, (laughs) I wish that the viewers could know the feeling of pulling up to your guard gate, like food in hand, (laughs) blaring music, like waving like a regular, and like pulling up to the house. I just felt so cool. Oh, like you look so cool when you came in. You looked like a celebrity. I was like, oh my God, who is this tanned? She thought I wouldn't want to match with her. I would I would be a pink Santa slut in a heartbeat with you. Like come Except on. Been fully covered. You could have had like one with your like tummy out or something. Uh, no, not even I've been oh Thanksgiving. Look, oh my god, are you kidding me? I've seen your Hawaii pictures. You look so good. A whole lot of face tuned. No, it's not. I see you in person. You look so good. This Stop. whole outfit's amazing. I forgot that you were pregnant for like a second when I came in. Like I was talking to you and then I was like, wait, you're pregnant. I'm just so I'm just really fat. I'm so, do you know the gender yet? Um we do. Uh, but we don't know. We don't know yet. We don't say it yet. Yeah, We're doing like a whole little reveal, reveal, a little gender reveal. You but we to. do know the gender. But I'm very excited. I might excited. have to know off camera. Like I'm. I, I can't believe tell you. But then it might slip. I feel like when I, I tell people, slip. it slips because I'll sign an NDA. <laughs> not okay. kidding. An NDA. I'm not kidding. A whole NDA no one cares for baby that Elvis. Much, but <laughs> I care that much. I and think so many people care that much. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my God. I can't believe so when I was here last, you were pregnant and you knew. I was, yes. You're a good secret keeper, Trish. Usually I'm not, but I it was like Halloween time and I felt like that's a weird time to announce a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't really want a witchy baby. It's like so. pumpkin, like yeah, oh yeah, stomach. no, that's weird. I was like, let's do Thanksgiving Stop. thankful. That's like the announcement. Baby yeah. Baby Elvis. Yes, baby Elvis will be here. I am so, I want to get pregnant and be pregnant with you oh so much. Oh my bad. god. Well now it's actually pliable because <laughs> plausible, pliable, I don't know Both. the word, but Get oh hot. my god, you're like literally a th- This is what I don't know, because last time I saw you, it was just like, oh, I don't know, like I'm single. And then whatever I guess not single, but with you and Jeff and all this, I was just like, wait, yeah. why does this happen so fast? I never once heard of you going to Hawaii, I Makoa, know. none of this. It happened very fast, but in a very healthy, awesome way. And I think it's kind of true that when you stop looking, things come, you know? Always, always. And I really like I was fl- I went to Hawaii because I would just I was burnt out, like tour, all the podcasting, everything. And I always go there for like peace you know and on the plane there I was like I'm just like I was talking to Paige I was like I'm just done looking for love like if it's gonna come it's gonna come like I'm excited to be in love again and like whatever and then it happened I went and I met a boy did you go on an app were you like no. on the beach? It's actually a very sweet story. Oh my gosh. Um, I want to so, know. I know nothing about this. And I was just all of a sudden like, oh my God, is this real? Yeah. No, I, it, yeah. It, it didn't happen the way it happened online. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, there was time to get to know each other and all of that, obviously. But, um, so I have a gay best friend named Makoa, um, other Makoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and which makes it so confusing. Yes. And that's why I hate saying his name in bed. Cause then I just think of my gay best friend, but <laughs> gotta do something um, else. Um, Gay Makoa used to live with me and Amari and everyone like in Sherman Oaks like three years ago for like two years. Why'd you laugh at that? Because it, it, Amari might have had a little fling with Gay Makoa. Oh, okay. And, okay, cute, cute. But we're love. all just great friends okay. now. And um, his dad was a really famous surfer on the Hawaiian Islands. So he's kind of like Hawaii royalty. And he mm-hmm. ended up, his dad ended up passing. So he moved back, like left my house and moved back to Hawaii. And now whenever I go, he's like, Gay Makoa is like my tour guide <laughs> and make sure I'm not acting like a tourist asshole and like lets me live the local life and like oh, amazing. all of his friends have become like my great friends and I've known him forever mm-hmm. and we have a his best friend is this girl named Amber and she's very close with me as well and I land in Hawaii and I text them as I always do and I was like hey I'm here let's do it let's do the thing like come see me and I texted Amber and I was like bring me a boyfriend like as a joke and then she was clowning me she was like no one has face tattoos on this island and I don't oh, know if I'm gonna right. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find you a boyfriend and She's dating her boyfriend, is best friends with my Makoa. So he, her boyfriend, brings yeah. my Makoa and he shows up, and I'm like, 
this is the hottest man I've ever right seen. Right away. What am I going to do? I'm like, no, but no, we were just like hanging out. We all like smoked a joint. Like we were like hanging by the pool, whatever. Right. And then we all go to dinner and just you four. No, no, no. There's there was like a bunch of us, okay. but like I had Paige and Ty with me as okay. well. And we all get this big dinner on the beach at this place called Dukes. And Gay Makoa, bless his heart, is very, very drunk. And I'm sitting in this wooden chair, this like four pegged wooden like rocking chair. Uh-huh. And Sexy Makoa, that's what I say. Gay Makoa and Sexy Makoa. Yeah, yeah. Sexy <laughs> Makoa is sitting next to me, but I don't really know him, you know. Right. And Gay Makoa comes behind me in the chair and starts trying to make this chair like a rocking chair. And I'm like, stop, you're so drunk. Like, get out of the chair, whatever. The peg of the chair slams through my big toe and breaks it. Oh, my god! And I blood everywhere. I start immediately scream crying. Oh and now I'm god. like, this sexy man is going to think I'm a fucking freak. Oh, no. You know what I mean? And he like, so sexy McCall immediately like goes and gets a cup of ice water, starts putting my toe in ice water. He's like being so sweet. Like I've never met a prettier girl with a broken toe. It's going to be fine. Like, oh and I did not look pretty. Let me tell you oh, that much. I'm already crying. I, I'm like, like, oh my gosh. She's actually crying. <laughs> I'm like, this is like the most romantic love story I've ever heard it's, so far. It's the pregnant emotions. That, I <laughs> swear. Because I cry for everything, but this I really. That's amazing. And he, oh like, my gosh. He carried me around the island for the next three days. Like I couldn't walk. Like, and I just met him and I was like, okay, I have to. You. Like, oh. come on. Let's, <laughs> like let's figure that one out. With the um, broken towel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you just make sure it's out. A, a lot of missionary and like hanging the foot off the bed, you know? But oh, my God. And we've ever so literally been inseparable since. And like, oh my. he's just amazing. What month is this? This was in the beginning of November. And I know it's like. No, I don't, I don't think it's crazy. I think it's. Um, I don't think I've ever like done this, but I feel like I have lived enough life that. I've always felt like when you know, you know. For sure, a and thousand like, percent. Thus far, I know. I just want to protect him from this shitty world, yeah. you know, and all the social media of it all and shit. How is know, that going? Do you have people found him? Because I know you don't tag. I looked. You he, like, don't tag. Green, green, green flag. The second that I ever posted anything with him, he immediately privated all of his social media. Wow. And I was like, oh. I love that you don't, you're not trying yeah. for anything. You want to live your normal life. He doesn't and care. Yeah. The, today the Snapchat cover of People Magazine was like our photo and I was like, babe, I'm so sorry. Um, what does he think like, of it? Is he like, he's like okay with it though. Yeah. I think. He's not like overwhelmed. He is just like the happiest, smartest little surfer boy. And I like, my world is obviously very, very different from catching waves and working and having a normal, like awesome life, you know? Right. And, but I, I feel like he likes me enough that he's down. Like he came to LA, he spent a week with me. He was like, I wanna I wanna get to know your life and I wanna, you know, like he came home to Vegas, met my whole family. They hate everyone and they liked him, so that was also a green that flag. That is the biggest green flag. If like they don't like anybody that you've dated and they like know it all. They're like they banned all my exes from the house. They're oh like, Don't bring them, God. you know. Like, <laughs> not kidding. My dad I, we were telling you this earlier. Yeah. My dad was making a Thanksgiving speech and he like included Makoa in the speech and I was like what did he oh, say? He Well, Makoa had, like, he weirdly had family in Vegas, too. We keep having all these weird, like, crossover that is coincidences, crazy. you know? Yeah. And so he left for, like, an hour to go to a Vegas family Thanksgiving and then was going to come back. But he was gone. And our dad was making a speech about everyone. He was like, and Makoa, I can't wait for him to get back. And I was like, what? Oh, my God. I was like, are you, are you sure? That's, like. Oh, my, and like, I heard that. Maybe if you guys spend Christmas together, like, well, let us know so we can get him a stocking. I'm like, like, I don't know any families that are that welcoming to, they, like, a new not, addition. They're assholes. <laughs> they raised us. Like, you know, they're so... Oh them really gosh. liking him made me really happy. And, and Amari said when you weren't around too, he's just like, tell Tana, I really like Makoa. I was yeah. like, that's crazy. Because he's just like the kindest person, like genuine joy, like positive. I think that's why I like him so much because I'm like, I'm a bit pessimistic now and yeah. again. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like, this, like this is happening, whatever. And he's like, babe, like let's let's go watch the sunset. Like life, there's so many beautiful things to like. The other day in the car, I was like spiraling about something and he goes, baby, just look at how green that grass is. Oh <laughs> yeah, my God. Like, I love I want, it. It's you're like, like a calming. It's yeah, like a calming person. So calm. I, he's like ever so literally my piece, and it's awesome. Oh like, my god, that I just don't want to fuck it up. Trish. Uh, you won't. No, you won't. I, I don't, don't think you I can. Won't. I think when it's like meant to be, you like can't. All my comments are that I found my Moses. Uh, <laughs> that's, then, we saw. We saw something. I think it was like a TikTok or something. I think you were just talking about canceled, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like first of all the nicest thing ever. But it's, it's like so sweet. It is the best. Like when you're like in love and you're like loved right. It's like it really is just the best feeling. Like you nothing else different. matters. Totally. You and you different. can tell. And that's what I tell with you. Like, literally, just like, you'll be no makeup in Hawaii and you post it. Yeah. And I love it. You just like, glo- like, you look so stunning. Like, I feel like he almost like enjoys when I'm just like hair wet, no makeup, oh. like, likes it more. And I'm like, 
just this natural is, you. Yeah, I don't have to contour for you at 7 a.m. before you get up. Oh. Like, I hate L.A. This is awesome. <laughs> Would like, you give up the L.A. lifestyle to go live there if that was? Tomorrow. <gasps> I love Hawaii. I always have. Like, I, I feel like I've traveled a lot of the world. And, like, there's so many beautiful places. But Hawaii, whenever so anyone asks me, like, much. your favorite place you've ever been, I'm like, it's simply Hawaii. What, what like, island specifically or just all around? I really like Oahu. Is um, that where he's from? He's from Maui. So <gasps> he's been, like, showing me Maui a lot. Oh, and Maui's amazing. It's a lot more chill. It explains so, – like, I was so happy to go home with him. And he was just, you know, driving me by his schools and telling me all the stories and everything. And I was like, this is exactly why you are the way you are. Because <sighs> everyone here is just so peaceful. And- oh, yeah. Maui's like – I feel like I, they always tell us it's like the boring island, but that's the only island I've been to, and I like love it because it's I, just quiet. Ex- it's so quiet; like everyone just goes to bed. And like we were staying on this farm in Maui that was um, <gasps> his best friend's house, and we, we we would like wake up and like feed the goats. Oh my! And I'm like, I want this life. That is, does that is that up in like in Hana? Do you know mm. like what area? Like the road to Hana? You know how it's like takes, oh yes. Like, was it um, up that way? Did you have to like go up? No, it's oh. on the opposite end. But we took the road to Hana and we like went to a waterfall. And oh, it was, like, those were so pretty. We were like playing with geckos and like yeah, that's like. Very very farmy up there, I feel. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Black no. Sand Beach, all of it. It was so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I was flying home like, <laughs> I don't oh, want to go home. <laughs> how, how long have you been? You went there twice now since you've dated him? Because you Twice were, or three times, I can't oh remember. Oh my gosh. And I'll be back soon. Like, I can't. You think you might go for like New Year's or something yeah, like that? Like that would little, be so cute. Like a little beachy. I feel like all my New Year's in my life have always like literally damn near killed me. Like, they're insane. They're in oh, Vegas, they're in Miami. Yeah. Like, they're crazy. It's like sceney, you know. But I just want to be like on a beach Chill. underwater. And oh, that's the best. Yeah, kiss at midnight and go to bed. Oh my god, a like, new tan. Oh my god, the rebrand is in full effect. Trish. That is, and you've been wanting a rebrand. You just didn't see it like this. You always said like Sophia Richie or something like that. Yeah, I always saw it like yeah. I didn't see it like this, and I didn't think it would like take a person to like stamp in the rebrand. But oh, that's it the is. best. And, at least, and it's Hawaiian, which is like great because Hawaii is just perfect. Like it's, it's just perfect. So perfect. And you I, could go both. You could be bicoastal. Absolutely. I don't know. Bicoastal. Date. By something. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bisexual. <laughs> Bisexual. <laughs> but All like, I hate even bringing him here. I'm like, he'll be like in my living room, like on the TV, like watching people surf on a live stream, like Aww. at home. And I'm like, damn, I'm so sorry. He like misses it. Yeah. Like Aww. we're going to catch. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, like, it's horrible. But. How does he like LA? Is he like. I feel like he's a really like accepting, open, yeah. welcome person. And he yeah. like loves my friends. Like, cause he has the same kind of like banter. Like he's a funny guy and. It's, it's quiet, you said. You said, like, till you get to know him. Yeah, which I appreciate because it's, yeah. like, you're not trying to walk in the room and be the center of attention. The like, it's the worst. And I feel like that's the majority of people I've dated want yeah. that. And it's – he, like, wants me to shine. But when you open up to him, he's just, like, the best, you oh. know? And he's, like, not in the entertainment world. He just strictly no. surfs and he works, He surfs and works, yeah. And yeah. he does just his like thing. like a normal job. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's the best. awesome. Like, it's – I just want more of his life and less of mine, you know? I'm so glad you like it because you have dated so many, like, famous people that, like, write songs about you and stuff like that. I'm like, are you – like, I feel like you could have been addicted to, like, fame. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, famous people and a famous couple and a power couple. Yeah. And, and then it's like, I just – I think that my – like, my self-worth was almost, like, so low and defined in that where I was, like – and you start to look at everything as mm-hmm. like your brand and your career and you're like, I need to date this famous person so we can be a power couple yeah. because I don't I don't want to carry someone on my back or whatever. And it was like as soon as I like found my self-worth, I was like, I've worked so hard to have love. Yeah. And like basing any of that in that is just dark and sad. Oh yeah. And to have someone who like just supports you just for being you and like lets yeah. you shine. It's just like so it's a more rewarding, fulfilling all of that. It's because famous people have like Aww. <laughs> I, like, I do. I'm just so happy she for you because you're just you. so like happy. Like it just like radiates. That's why you look so different. Like, like I was like, wait, what is it? Is it the tan, the makeup, the hair? And you're like, oh, I did my own makeup today. And I was like, there's a glow. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, absolutely. And he just, I don't know. Yeah. He makes, I'm really happy. Oh and I God. hope I keep getting to be really happy. I know it's really soon. So I don't want to like jinx it. You know, God forbid something happened and then it's all over the internet. I'm like, wait, just kidding. No, I think it's totally okay and wearing your heart on your sleeve and to be, put it out there. I think that's like, you know, and it's good vibes. It's good manifesting. It's like manifesting Mm. more of this goodness Mm. and this love and feeling all that. Exactly. Like, and I just, oh my God. I might've found my Moses. All the other comments say, where's Jeff? And we're working on that, but Okay, yeah. so that's because I'm canceled. You're like, I'm so tired of people asking about Jeff. So I was like, not going to ask, but then when I was asking you out there, you're like, well, we'll talk about it on the podcast. I was like, okay, because yeah, I want to no. know. I want to know the tea, of course. I always want to <laughs> talk about Jeff. That's my best friend. But like the internet. Is it still? Because he deleted uh, all the photos of you. I know. He told me that <laughs> the other day in the car. He was like, well, I archived our Barbie shoot because like you have a boyfriend. And I was like, what are you Wait, saying right now? What? And so that's he- the shippers are going to run with that one. Um, Wait, so that's what's 
crazy. Okay, so if you are like just friendly, like, he wouldn't delete all the things. He told you, he warned you. Yeah, I, but I, maybe he's just stirring the pot. Like he loves oh, to do that. Okay. That's you know, how I think of it. Like he definitely loves a pot stir. I'm going on Jeff FM after this for an end of year recap. Okay, so I that's never, good news. I never. Yeah, we're great. I mean, we just attended a funeral <laughs> together. We're stronger than ever. Aww. Like you know, it's he's my best friend. But, yeah. Um, I never prepare for Jeff FM. Just like here, I just come and sit and talk yeah. my shit because you guys are like my souls, you know. Mm. But this is the first episode I've ever prepared for. Oh my god, well, how did you prepare? I wrote a list of everything psycho bat shit that he did to me this year, and I'm gonna read it off I to him, and he doesn't that. know. And what I'm a good end of year recap! Here's yeah. all the stuff you did like, to me. This not year. the PR stunts. Like here's every time you pissed me the f- off. Oh my. God. And You're I'm like, sure our I, friendship ends. <laughs> I'm sure I pissed him off too. No, I think it'll be a funny episode. Oh but. my God. So you guys are cool. You like talk. It's not like a yeah, weird. We've been talking. Though, and there's nothing weird. Like we're great. And I just, I just so wish it's... the people would understand if we were going to date, we would have like, you know, it's like, it's not our journey. Yeah. And, I think that's like frustrating when everybody wants you to and you're like, that's just not it. Yeah. And they yeah. see all the like awesome ship clips and like cute moments and when we're like playing into it and whatever. But like if they saw our friendship off camera in full, they would be like, yeah, these like we're very similar, but we're very different. Yeah. And in the ways we're different, I don't think it works for a relationship. You Do know? you think you can like stay friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're like stronger than ever. Like nothing has changed at all. But like the time, I because mean, like I had a platonic male best friend, truly platonic and we're, we're still close. He came to our wedding and stuff but we were we like lost the closeness because I can't spend as much time with him because I'm like I'd rather spend the time with my boyfriend do you think you would like lose time with him you can't be as available I mean I'm gone a lot more you know but like we still text all the time and you know like I I feel like Jeff and I have the friendship where even if I didn't see him for six months I would see him and we would just be exactly the same you know yeah I That's believe it, yeah. Life, you know, and I, yeah, I, I don't fucking know. I just, I wish the people, because our whole friend group, even last night, everyone was like, I would hate to see y'all together. Like, they know. Like, our, it's you know. It's not going to work, yeah. Like, our friend group, like, all of his friends are like, we, like, you guys are so clearly best friends, you know? Right. It's like, yeah. No, I believe the platonicness. I believe the best friendness. I just always wonder. I'm just like, for, I know when he would, like, my friend would text me, we'd call, we would talk like six hours a night. I'm like, this is not going to happen anymore. Yeah. You know, that's true. You and know, it, you know, but you guys like work together, I guess. Like, you, you yeah. go on his podcast a lot. And yeah, we do. Yeah. And our work relationship is great. And like, yeah. you know, I don't know. I mean, yes, our friendship did kind of start in flirting for the views. And yeah. Playing into it and that weird gray area. But over time, it was just like, oh, you're my ride or die, you know? And it's like, right. And hopefully people yeah. will see that because it would just be annoying to hear all the time. Oh, like, what so about Jeff? Annoying. What about Jeff? Like, even if it is just platonic. It's I'm going like, to try to make a TikTok today and shut it all down. What are you going to say? I'm gonna just going to respond to one of the, like, where's Jeff comments and be like, he's right in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he's right, right here. That's <laughs> good. That's good because I feel like he also said something in a recent podcast where he said he was going to, like, punch the pineapple head or something yeah, like he, that. Which is wild because I'm like, is Makoa in on this too? Like, he gets it or no? Um, that's very much so Jeff's sense of humor and <laughs> everything is a joke with him and, like, I know that, you know, and course, I was nervous yeah. for them to meet. They met. Okay. I brought Makoa to a holiday party and him and Jeff just caught a vibe. They were just talking oh. about like, they like each other. Everything is great. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Interesting. And, yeah. Like Makoa supports it fully. He's like, babe, do what you got to do. Go work. Wow. Like, I love Jeff for you. You guys are like clearly very similar best friends. And yeah, I mean, you know, Jeff's just being a best friend. He's like, is it serious? What's going on? Like, I really like him. Like, you know. But, that's good. Okay, so yeah. that's all good news then. It's all great. Yeah. And it's he, the just the damn so, I know. comments. <laughs> well, it's always going to be the comments always. Yeah. I feel like no matter what you do, it's mm-hmm. always going to be, what about this? What about Or just the fact that you posted. You posted, I think, with another, maybe it was Game Makoa. You posted with somebody on the beach. Oh, like, Ty. Yeah, like how many gay boyfriends time. does Tana have? <laughs> yeah, I literally was I was like, that is my gay best friend. I have one, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, my wholesome era. Yeah, like, you're being wholesome and good. I've been noticing, like, in our relationship, I like go to act like how I've acted with everyone I've ever dated, mm-hmm. and I have to like sit back and breathe and be like, okay, like he's not texting you because he's working. He's I definitely see. not like you know. Like I just, I'm really trying to rewire my like toxic freak behaviors. How would you have done in the past? Like, if someone doesn't text you, are you like someone to like text a bunch of times? Yeah, or like call a bunch of times or call their friends. Where are they? Like, yeah, because I've just dated shitty people. But with him, it's like, yeah. And know. how do you like control it? 
Or you just or you just trust. You're just like, I'm good now. I don't need to do that. I mean, I, it's definitely like thoughts that I have to rewire, yeah, you know, but I'm not going to act on them. Yeah. You know, and I, because I couldn't. He's too pure. He's too perfect. I, he doesn't deserve that. And right. I like know that. You That's know? good that you know that because I feel like once you know that about someone, then you're like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. Because it takes a while. I mean, for him, I was like a year checking his DMs like every day. Like, who yeah. are you texting? You know, like <laughs> I would need his passcode. Like, I was like so crazy. Yeah. So the fact that you like caught that in like a month is like pretty good. Because I just, I don't want to scare someone so amazing off and like with, all my past trauma letting that flow over. Like when we started dating, which was – we made it official like probably like a week or so, two weeks ago. Oh, my God. Um, but we were like driving in the car and we both like started crying and I was just like, I'm so grateful for everything that did happen to me because it led me to you. And I think that's like a very – That's so sweet. No, that, I'm like, cry. I know. I know. Because <laughs> that is – like That's like a – wounded bird like a broken road you know that you're like but it's okay because I found you because of all like I don't I don't want to take anything back because I wouldn't know you and that would suck so that's really cute and the fact that you appreciate that like you know at 25 because I feel like a lot of people don't recognize good guys at 25 I think I just lived 30 lifetimes of oh horrible love life. I think of you as older than me because I'm like, you've done so much and you've like done so many things. I always think of you as like 40 because I'm like, (laughs) I'm literally 40. I'm mentally fucking 40 for sure. What you squeeze in in your lifetime and even now, like you just go, go, go. It's actually amazing. Like you always go from here to somewhere. Like you're just constantly moving and going. And it's, and I'm excited to chill that out and like enjoy peace more. And yes, absolutely. I say that as Brooke and I are going on like a world tour next year. (laughs) Wait, are you actually? Yes. International? I'm... International is not confirmed yet. It's in talks, but all of the U.S. Like, Wait, how many dates? <sighs> around. Paige, how many dates do you think this tour is? Over 40. Yeah, I get Okay, it. that is not slowing <laughs> yeah, down. That's the no. opposite of slowing down. Yeah. And tour is so... I don't, Exhausting. I, it's fun, but I don't know. I, did, I think I did like 10 in one tour, and I was like, that's a lot. No, the burnout is real. And I like a bus more because you get a lot more sleep. So you've done a bus tour, but I haven't yeah. done a bus tour. Bus is so much better because it's like the TSA of it all, the checking into hotels of it all. Like that's the shit that's like, like if you can just like do the show and then go get on the bus, get in your bunk and knock out, like that's Oh my God. It's Everything's better. on the bus. Yeah. Showering. Um, yes. And then like on days off in certain days, you'll like. Go to a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. But that's oh why like how green God. rooms have showers. It's like four bus tours, you know. Oh my God. And what and kind of venues are you playing? Do you know how many seats? Theaters. <gasps> all Theaters. Oh, oh my god. god, you're gonna be a billionaire. <laughs> That's Fucking hope wild. So. And meet and greets at each show. Yes. And like two, three shows a night for a lot of the shows. Ooh. I'm trying to drag Mako on the bus. I'm like, babe, please, I need like oh. dick and peace. Oh my god. Like, seriously. It's the dick and peace. And dick the and holiday peace. season. <laughs> it does make everything better. No, that it would really be my does. dream to go like on a bus tour with like Malibu and Moses. But it seems so You well, need to. It no, it just seems very complicated. The logistics of it all, like it is. Right, it just is. like getting people and the bus parking, yeah. and I just I'm grateful that I finally like we've talked about this a lot, but have like good managers who like can help really you fucking with do it. That. Yeah, like, just call me when the tours round and like, actually make money. I feel like my, all yeah. my tours, I like lost money because I was like always flying like ten people. Yeah, and, and oh just, yeah, so and like you want first class, and then you're uh, like, yeah, that's so. exactly like the bus just makes it make so much more sense. And yeah, I'm I'm really excited. It's gonna be scary to not be home for three months. I haven't that's, done some shit like when that. When do you start? Um, I can't say like the exact dates, but it's giving spring. Okay. But it's giving hopefully early spring. Oh my God. That's crazy. So you have to I'm get married. married before that. Or not married. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I have to. Pregnant, maybe. No. Oh my God. I just got God. my period. And for the first time in my life, I was like a little like, oh. Sad. Yeah, but it's like, okay, Tana. You, like, okay. But how exciting Give it the a year. fact that you would be excited about it. You know what I mean? What? Usually people are like, uh, you know, oh, thank God I got my period. But yeah, you're that's like, how I've been for 25 years, oh I think. My. Oh my God. But I'm, I'm moving. I realize, like, I say that in a joking manner. I think that's like, also, but yes and no. I think it's like normal that people feel that way when you feel like, you know, when you yeah. know anyways. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I'm joking, obviously, and I'm taking it at a proper rate. He sees this. Real. He's like, oh my you gosh. Yeah, he's, he's like, like a crazy <laughs> bitch. Like, no, literally. Like, but does he talk like him. kind of the same where it's like, oh, I'm like. We're just cute love? and silly about it. We haven't. Yeah. It hasn't <laughs> been said yet, but like little things have been said that like, you know. But Like what? what's a little thing? What's close to love? Like, uh, like you're on the phone and they like, I love you, bye, slips out. And then you're like, you hang up and you're like, wait, what? I feel like you have to say it quick the first time. Yeah, I feel like you have to be like, love you, I love you, or something. <laughs> I'm like the opposite. Like, I want a whole moment. I want doves flying. Like, okay, I you want... want it to be special. I was definitely like drunk on Xanax and I was like, I love you. <laughs> 
that's every time I've ever said I love you, though. Let's be real. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to create this new narrative. You're trying to, yeah, that's better yeah. to be that way. Yeah, I always would do that. Like, get drunk on Xanax and be like, so when are we? Yeah, yeah so that's, that's the only way to do it for yeah. me. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. figure it out any other way. The nerves, you know. It's like, I don't know how people do it sober. Yeah. I, I guess in healthy relationships, it would be that way. Yeah. I'm trying. That's so good, though. There's like, a white claw in my cup right now, but I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you're like, but I feel like that's good to have like a little bit, a little edge off and to say it. Yeah. I Yeah. Maybe like New Year's Eve or Christmas I just take something. it seriously. Like, I don't want to say it unless I truly, you yeah. know, feel it with everything in me. Because once, you, once you're there, you don't, you don't go back. Yeah. You know. And, do you, and you like fall in love like hard mm-hmm. with like everybody. Yeah. I mean, everyone you've been in a relationship with, not everybody. <laughs> I don't think I'm in love with y'all. Like, dead ass. I, no, I do, though. I love really hard when I love. And oh. you have to be cautious of that, you know? And like, yeah, to, like, not get your heart broken. Because yeah. have you – do you think you've had your heart broken? Mm-hmm. You have where you're just, like, so depressed. I spit out the white cloth. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Oh, you have. Like, you were, yeah. like, so in love and then that person, like, broke your heart. I thought yeah. you would be the heartbreaker. I I think that – we talked about this as well, like the villain origin. After you get your heart broken a couple times, you take you become, that narrative mm-hmm. back and you're like, I'm not doing that again. Right. Oh my God. But like 2021, me like put her in the coffin. Like really? I was shattered. And Chris, like I was definitely like. That was your biggest one, you think? Your biggest I think, heartbreak? I think uh, Chris and like uh, the mess of the Paul of it all, but I hate talking about it. it like. Wait, really? You think that was a heartbreak with Jake? Oh my God, yeah. I was so like. Oh, were you? Because it just love? wasn't. I think I, 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 but like, <gasps> oh, I, didn't I hate know. even talking about it now, you know? Why? Because it's, like, it's so far removed. Exactly. Exactly. So like, don't you think you like, could talk about it as like, it's not even really your life. It's almost like this like storyline. It's so true. You that's know? actually, that was like profound. Yeah. And that's I how I look at things. I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm like, that was just like a chapter in my life. I don't even know who that person is 100%. anymore. 100%. So you and could that's say what it was. you were in love at that time. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. But I, I don't think it, and again, that's even just with the Jeff ship of it all, like, Lines get so blurred when it's mm. online and the internet is shipped. And I, looking back, I and I think he would agree with this. I don't know. I don't know him now, you know. But I don't necessarily feel that my feelings were reciprocated. Like yeah. I was like falling madly in love with this person, and it's like, oh my god, you're you don't think so? Tana. You don't think? I think he cared about me, and we were like great friends. I don't know, you know. Yeah. I don't know his journey, and I don't want to like speak on his behalf. And now I just. We, I watch the fights and I'm like, go off. Kid. Yeah. Slay. Isn't you know? it like crazy to see? I always think like, I know nothing. I was never like fan. I don't really know anything. I was on fans or hater. And it's like crazy to see they're so like mainstream and big and rich. I'm Insane. just like, wow, that's but amazing. They're, they're smart. You know, they're really, really smart. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't take back that era. I learned so much about yeah. work ethic and grind and navigating this world. And I think it was such a lot of fun. I yeah. Like, looking back now, it's like I'm 25. Like, we did that whole like fake engagement shit on my twenty first birthday. Like that was like five years ago. That's wild. And it's like you there's a so part young. of me that feels like it was just yesterday, but a part of me that feels like it was two decades ago. I feel the same way about you too. I feel like, oh my God, you've done so much stuff. To me, it seems like, yeah, it was just yesterday. And I was like, no, that was like a long yeah. in a way, twenty one and twenty five is very close, but you've you've yeah. done so much since then. Oh yeah, so I feel like I've lived fifteen fucking life. It's crazy. I forgot how young you were with like Tana Con and stuff like that. Cause I was like, God, you were what, like twenty there? Yeah, nineteen maybe even. I don't know. I know I was 19 because I sold a townhome, so nothing was going back for me. (laughs) What happened with the townhome? Like, just, (laughs) we were planning Tanacon out of my townhome. Like, I didn't have it together yet. I mean, that's better than an apartment. That's true. That's an apartment with no door at 19. Did you? (laughs) Yeah. No door? No door. No door knob. No door knob. Yeah. (laughs) I had a door, (laughs) but people could just push it open. (laughs) No, wait, where was this? It was on Yucca and Highland. You know where yes. David's apartments yes. were? Those weren't there when I was there. I was like 18. They were just like, it was literally a abandoned parking lot in Burger King. But like I was right across the street and by the liquor store. Oh my God. Yeah. That liquor store has seen a lot of my days. Oh yeah. That yeah. was, I a was lot there. Of days. <laughs> what, wait, what do you mean? Were you just like, just, hey, that yo. was just the go-to <laughs> liquor store in that era. Really? That's yeah. so funny. Were you over in that area? Were you in that area or just hang out with David? Yeah. Before I moved here, I would always stay at the Lowe's hotel for like weeks at oh. a time. And I like lived there and I would run a muck like I was they should they should have banned Wait, me the liquor store? no 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 the Lowe's the Lowe's but it was across oh, okay. the street from David's it's and across bougie. the street from that liquor yeah. store Lowe's so is I'm, like fancy that's where they stay for like the Oscars and stuff like that yeah, yeah and it, it's like a, and I didn't realize that at the time I was like this is my fucking apartment I'm gonna do cartwheels blacked out down the hallway at 19 it's like get out oh my god wait did they, did they actually tell you to get out no they oh. never did they've been They're welcoming like, it's, fine. it's one of the hotels I'm, I'm not surprised because it's kind of like it's kind of bougie it used to be the renaissance before it was Lowe's and it was like really, really? fancy and like all the celebrities would stay there do you know which hotel I hate that has the same like air of that is the Roosevelt. Have you ever stayed there? The one across the street on Hollywood Boulevard? Yeah, right? By the Buffalo Wild Wings. 
yeah. It's, it's old, right? It's the one yeah, like, like Marilyn, Marilyn would say. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. Uh, that one is, that's spooky. I hate that one. That's what I'm saying. It's mm, so no. haunted. I stayed yeah. there once and I was like sleeping in my room there and it was right before I was going to leave on a bus tour and I was trying to get like my last good hotel sleep and I woke up to a chair like moving oh. a little. Oh, yeah. I left immediately. Oh, no. I, like I ran out of there. No, it's 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 very cold too. Like in rooms, it could be like freezing cold and I was just like, and I'm not really yeah. into ghost paranormal, but I was like, this spooks me. I don't want to stay here A at lot all. of people have like died there and shit too. It's like... Yeah. So, what's the other one it's we like, went to? Chateau. Chateau oh, Marmont. I that really one. like the Chateau, though. You like it? Yeah, but that's... There's blood on the floors. We stayed... Yeah. We had a room, and we were going to stay the night, and there was yeah. literal blood on the floors. Something felt so eerie. I was like, we need to leave right now. <laughs> yeah, it's it is, it's way more dark there, because that's where all the celebrities go and, like, hide away and do, do all the drugs. cocaine. And, yeah. yeah. You like, love it, though. You're like, it's a vibe. I had an era where that was, like, where I'd go with everyone, and we would, really? like, take over the Chateau and, like, all the mainstream celebrities when that was... Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the like you'd elevators. walk in and just see like an A list or railing lines. Oh, like, it was yeah, like, I didn't know. We went once and I was just like, "This is awful. I'm so scared of this place." I, but. There's so much like history there that I find that one to be like weirdly cool, but Ugh. like, yeah, it's still a Roosevelt creepy. is scary that too. Roosevelt's a little bigger, so but all yeah. it's old and yeah. I don't like any of that. And I don't the know. history, yeah. I go Absolutely. to the Madonna Inn. That's my hotel. <laughs> We need oh, to go together. But that was where you had a haunting too, right? I told Holly about it. I was like, oh my God, Tana had this haunting. And it just felt haunted. Yeah. As fuck, but I want to go back. We need to go. We have to go. We should we, all go. Me, you, and Holly. I <laughs> I love Holly. I'm we, sorry. Were, we were like shopping at outlets together. I kind of live for her. She's like, what about Cracker me? Barrel? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Telling my kids that was the girls next door. Yeah, Us right? three. <laughs> not kidding. That would be everything. She loves the Madonna Inn, too. We need I to would, go. I would love to. I'm not I kidding. You and might, I have yeah. been like, you and I have really been discussing the idea of producing a series. Oh, my God. Should we talk about that? I was kind of shook when you said it because I'm not kidding. Like, I have a couple different management companies that, like, help me out or whatever. I have a couple, obviously, whatever. And they're always like, would you ever want to do a show with Tana? I'm like, Tana's so busy. She has managers. The way you think is so nuts, though. Like, I would go to the ends of the earth to do but that But you are you. literally going on a four-month tour. Don't You're care. You're newly in love. Like, <laughs> Don't care. We'll figure it out <laughs> for true. you. We could shoot it, like, relatively, Quick. like, in two weeks if it was a thing. Yeah. Or... I was, like, in Hawaii, and I forget what I was doing, but I was doing something that I just don't do. I think I might have been on the farm. And I like had this thought and I was like, God, Trisha, and I need to have a show. And I'm telling Mako, I'm like, I really want to like pitch this to Trisha right now. Am I being insane? Oh and he was like, God. no, babe, send it, send it. And then I sent you the it text. It was wild. It was the most wild thing because people always, always ask like you and Tana should have this show. And specifically the simple live concept, like mm. people online have obviously said it, but people too that like do reality shows and pitch and stuff like that. And I was just like, it's, there's no modern day. And I know Paris and Nicole, I think from what they've been like posting online are teasing a reboot. Oh really? I think it's not it's not confirmed. It's just my context yeah. clues are telling me that. Mm -hmm. And I have a hunch and I think my hunch is right. And obviously they're the goats, but there yeah. is no concept of modern day simple life. Mm -hmm. Like me and you under a car trying to change the oil, but we're like scrolling through TikTok. Oh my God. That'd be like, just you driving a car, really. It, absolutely <laughs> not kidding. You're teaching me. That would Maybe be not so pregnant. I don't want you to get, I don't want I you to get. drive pregnant. No, no, no. I don't oh, want to be behind wanna, the okay. wheel. We don't pregnant. analyze while yeah. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Let me try to have the baby and then we'll do it. <laughs> but I really think we should do a simple life series. I, you and I would love, or like, yeah, like you said, a modern day would be good, or something like dirty jobs where you're just like out, like picking up a roadkill or just something disgusting I that Paris and Nicole would never do. I would absolutely <laughs> die to. And I, th I never say this about things. Usually, I like, I'm like, oh, if the public likes this, like they like it. If they don't, they don't. But yeah. I know these bitches would eat I it up. I think so too. I'm so dying. I think we should do like a sizzle. We should do like a little pilot episode. I. It'd be so fun. Let's do it. If anyone's out there and wants to just do it with us, or we'll just do it ourselves. Either way. Honestly. You're like, do you want to just fund this with me? I'm like, absolutely. I think I think we fund the sizzle and then we try to pitch it. Yeah, I think so too. That'd be them so much fun. I'm so I'm like, down. I was shocked. I was like, I would, I like, it would just bring me the most joy. And oh I know God. we have so much fun. I, oh no, I love everything with you. Like I get genuinely so excited giddy. when I see you. And I get I just, like giddy. Me too. I and the fact that you're like, oh, I'm going on cancel next to go. I'm so excited. Because we talk about you guys. Our show is literally the after show of canceled. We're just like, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Everywhere I go, people ask Zach saying, every show I'm on, you get brought up somehow. And Same. I love it. I love that you're associated. I'm associated with you. I'm like, yes. <laughs> the other day after the funeral, dark, but oh. we're in this restaurant and we're all in all black. Like it just looks like really fucking sad, you yeah. know? And I walked to the bathroom and all the people like behind the front desk of the restaurant, because we were like deep in California, like an hour and a half away. All the people behind the restaurant were like, 
We didn't want to interrupt this, but we love you and Trish. No. So I'm in my funeral garb. <laughs> I'm dressed in my funeral outfit Just being like, crying. Trisha wishes you were here. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one no one wants to be there. I was taking all these videos. And they were like, one of the girls was like, you and Trisha have to shoot a series. And I was like, my, I know. That's, that, that's the sign. There's so yeah. many signs. People have always said that. Like, literally, anytime people want to do a show. Because there's not much to my, me for a reality show. But people always like, you and Tim. Oh, what is it? Just me sitting at our house? <laughs> Trisha, <laughs> no. yes. No, you have people, you have friends. Yours is like fun, but mark my words. If 365 days from now I have not convinced you of how iconic you are, I have <laughs> failed my duties. Okay, but. you do hype me up so big. Well, it's because of you. It's really because of you. You, I'm not kidding. You are such the it girl, and I'm like, how am I friends with you? Like, it's crazy. Like, I've always loved you, but it's like crazy to be friends with you now. I and I love just love you. seeing you happy. You are the it girl. I want I, everything I'm doing. I'm like looking for my Moses. I want you your found life. Him. We were driving into your house, and I was like, I really should buy a house in this neighborhood. Oh, one day. Like, oh my just- god! Please <laughs> get married, have the babies like, here. Absolutely. You know I'm gonna drop off my baby. I would baby love. I would be so much fun because honestly, like just having people like because we're so far out. Mm. So I do appreciate you also doing the drive because it's like it's like you, know, you said a road trip last time. Do like, you know what Amari said in the car? What he said? I get the same feeling when I drive to Trisha's house on our little road trips that I would feel as a kid when we would take a road trip to Disneyland or Sea World. <laughs> and I almost started <laughs> sobbing. I was like, I I live for Amari. He's not in here now, but I love him so Amari much. Too. He's literally I just ever all his little stories. I mean, he's like an he's He's like the it boy. He's, he's doing the most. I just love him so much. No, he's, he's, he's I love my you guys world. together. I love that you guys are. He was like asking me today. He was like, if we have time, do you think she'd want to do a tavern oh, video so with me? I'm so excited. I was like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, of course, Trish is going to eat that up. Anytime someone wants to do a tavern with me, I get so excited. I, I think we have to. Maybe us three. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. We just I'm all done. squeeze in there. Yeah. We need to get a bigger tavern because you can't see <laughs> Moses it. is like, please, no. I'm building a drive through right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do are have the drive through. Are you still the drive through? Yeah, we're working on it. It's not yet up, but we're like doing yeah, oh, and then stop. I'm so excited. Yeah. Do you guys decorate for Christmas at your house? I have been like I have before, but I'm always so wildly gone in December. Yeah, so you can't and then I it. like go home for Christmas where it's all decorated. Yeah. And I like spent like 20 grand one year on like busting out my house. Like I had like a fucking 20 oh foot God. tree and shit. And I was like, who am I doing this for? I've seen the tree yeah. six times. Like yeah. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I get that. And it was like it was fun and like super C U N T, but um <laughs> don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> but, but now you know that how to get monetized, we're holding you that you totally yeah. can. So, yeah, yeah, so apparently the has been the reason. That well, we bleep that out. Too. Uh, yeah, bleep the word. The the <laughs> nicotine device. Uh, People said in that episode too, like, "Wow, we never seen once Tana." <laughs> like, yep, she's no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna run with that. I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, I don't even need it around Trisha." <laughs> totally vaping every second. It is crazy how many people do it. It's actually insane. Like, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it. I want to quit I, so bad. Well, like, I feel like being in love. Will, does he? No, but it's funny now he'll like hit mine and I'm like, I'm corrupting you. Oh, like I have you to stop. Start turning into each other a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh well, my God. It's crazy. Like we were in bed like one night, like a couple weeks ago and he's eating a Crunchwrap Supreme off of me oh. and like oh spills like, God. no, not even sexy. I, I promise not sexy. <laughs> what do you mean off of you? It's like on you and he's like going down. Yeah. Like, it. like I was the plate and like oh. he like spilled like nacho sauce or something. And then he like takes his finger and like whatever. And I left my own body. I was like, I'm corrupting you. Like, your 10 pack is about to be gone, babe. Was he never a like, fast food person? No, before? he is actually. Oh, he man, loves man. Taco Bell like as much as I do. Okay, that's like and it, it was one of our strongest bonding points upon meeting. We were like, let's go get Taco that's Bell. That's wild. Yeah, he doesn't look like he'd like eat Taco Bell because he's just such a surfer and natural. And- the surfing is such a crazy like workout. Yeah. So and his genetics are just insane. Of his course. dad's like fing 60 and has like a 10 pack. Oh and like, my you God, know, so like, lucky. The, yeah, no, I, I remember the first time I asked him, I'm like looking at him, I'm like, do you work out? And he was like, No, I just surf and eat. He eats a pint of Hagen dazs every night before bed. Oh like, I'm like, we have to get him his haagen so that he can oh, be happy. Oh, man. And I'm like, fuck you and your abs. I know. Get babies with him. Yep. They'll have great genetics. That baby is going to be so blessed. <laughs> Thank God, because I'm out here ruining myself. <laughs> it's always like, great when I they get know. something good. Like, Malibu's very tall and has long eyelashes. I'm like, thank God. You know what I mean? Like, God, I she'll know. Probably, like whoever, She's whatever. She's beautiful baby. It's actually crazy. Your baby's going to be beautiful. Stop. Our babies it. are going to be best friends. Oh, my God. Like, It'd Malibu's going to be the best, like, little big sister to, like, oh my, my baby. Oh, my God. That'd I'm, be so cute. Do you think they're going to be like us, or you think they're going to be opposite of us? Oh, well, it's, it's interesting. 
interesting because like if you're like Mako's opposite of you and Mo's opposite of me, so it's interesting to see like what they gravitate because it could be like you Either or it could way. be like him. Like Malibu's chill, so she's definitely Ma- Ma- Moses. But like our next baby, like it will be wild and crazy. Like me, I don't know. I'm so excited. All yeah. What do you know when you're like due? May. I'm like, and can I be in the labor yes, room? Yes, absolutely. You can be the godmother. <laughs> like seating it quietly. I'm like, and so can I come? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's not that exciting because I'll probably do C-section again. So it's just kind of like they just pop the baby out. Oh my god! I want to push. I wanted to push so bad because I think really? that's exciting. Just like a baby flying out of you sounds amazing. <laughs> are you? No, I freak out. Even when my really? tampon's like a little loose. And then, <laughs> are you ever like? Have you ever had a tampon? Sorry, Moses. I'm seriously so sorry for what I'm saying. <laughs> it's fine, nothing he hasn't heard. Have you ever had a tampon in and then you're like shitting and you like kind of push the tampon out? Wait, why wouldn't you take the tampon out before? What? A- why do you keep it in? <laughs> You're supposed to take it out right away. <laughs> no, it's not full yet. Like if it was. Oh what my if it's god, like, girl, take it out. What if you go to the bathroom? You're supposed to take it out. Ripping the dry cotton out of the puss. I mean, how how dry is it? You just stuck it in like a few minutes ago. Like, what if I stuck it in and then I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna shit myself. Take it out. Oh, just the like the all of it, like the wiping, <laughs> like everything sounds horrible mixed in there. It's giving and peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry, Trish. I'm so sorry. You're pregnant. You'll let her puke on me. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. God. I'm so sorry. We'll put that on Patreon. The oh, Patreon exclusive oh. if you want to hear us talking about. I forget. She's tearing up. She's like, never say that again. I'm so sorry. I forget that you hate that. The, the, um, it is like, the bowels of it all. I don't know what it is. It like, actually, I couldn't actually no, throw have, up. I'll keep it down. You have a visceral reaction. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not bad. I think mixed with. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on. I'm so sorry. That's one thing I will be changing in the future. No bowel discussions with Trish. I'll save those for Brooke. I'll save People those. Lo- Does she love that? We we just talk about it. Yeah, like really? yeah. that's so wild to me. That's one thing I just I can't get past. We have this phrase for when you like. Re- uh, I mean, I'm gonna dial back. Promise. I was like, I literally feel regurgitation coming. What's the phrase? No. Like when you really gotta go Ooh. and you're in the bathroom and you like take your pants off and like you're sweating. You know what I mean? No. We always <laughs> never. What? We call that gripping the walls. Like, we'll text each other and be like, I was gripping the walls. Oh, wait, while you're going, you text each other? I'll be like, ah, sorry, I was just gripping the walls. Like, I'm coming back up to film. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, um, while filming. That's anything. my biggest nightmare. Someone here, I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom and I'm gone for like 15 minutes. That's so awkward. Like, if you left for 15 minutes, I'd be like, Awkward. She's shitting. Yeah. <laughs> now it's super. Mamari's been gone for like 30 minutes. So. Yeah, I think he's definitely doing it. I'm really talented at um, going in. number oh. two really fast. Oh, that's a good talent, actually. Like, yeah. no one will ever know if I'm what I'm doing in there because I can, like, Ty and I started a disgusting bit <laughs> where we would put a stopwatch on and I'd be like, I'm going number two, and I'd come back out and it'd be like a minute, 20 wow. seconds. Wow. What is the secret? I just, I just get it out. I don't know. So, like, I could be at a guy's <laughs> house. I could be at a guy's house and, like, I'm not even worried because I'm like, he'll just think I'm peeing. Like, it's out. Oh, yeah. That's, like, my big fear, too. Well, yeah. I, we put everything, I think I told you this at the hotel. I put, like, the water on, I put everything on. I'm just like, oh, yeah. I need water on, TikTok blaring. Yeah. Don't ever like, Okay, so you don't let them hear the sounds. No, oh my okay. God. That's okay. my worst nightmare. That's where I draw the line. Okay. I remember the first time she ever heard the sounds of, Paige ever heard the sounds of me. And I, oh! and I was just, I was trying to yell over it. I was going, oh my God. Oh my oh God. Oh my God. We're too close. That'll traumatize me for sure if I heard the plopping. Yeah, I would never, I would never allow you to hear that. Oh I my can't. God. I just feel like someone like you doesn't. Like, that's how I think of you in my head. I'm like, oh, you just don't. That's you know what I mean? That's the most thing anyone's ever said Yeah, because you're so tiny. But I guess the tiny people go more because <laughs> you got to get it out. You are just... <laughs> <laughs> one of a kind. You are so silly. No, I Paige and I are just like weirdly close like that, I guess, to where it doesn't bother How us. How long have you guys been friends and working together? We're about to hit our three year anniversary. Oh, I love that you celebrate for a small we have, No, we, yeah, we, we have big plans. We're oh, so in doing? love. Like oh. we don't like yeah, February is three years. We met because my executive assistant at the time hired her oh to gosh. be her day to day assistant, and then I was like, "This like is my better. soulmate." Like, no, I, I love them both. <laughs> She's still one of my fired. best friends. Um, she quit after a while. Understandable. Oh, Paige okay, is still, okay. She went. She wanted to work in the music industry. Got We're still it. best friends. But her and I have been rocking for three years. Wow. I think I'm getting her a car tomorrow. I'm not surprising her, but I'm getting oh, her a car tomorrow. My God, what car? She's trying since May, and I'm like, I will not accept. Her. I've been begging oh, her since May to let. Me buy her a car. I'm in it her is car. A lot. I mean, that is. I don't think I've ever bought anyone a car besides my mom. That's, I'm, well, that's fair. Yeah. She is my mom. <laughs> right. I'm in her car. I'm in her car six days oh. a week, eight hours a day. Anyway, so to me, buying her a car isn't even like a gift. It's like I'm buying myself a that's car. That's wild that you've never bought yourself a car. Okay, I just but shouldn't be buy- behind a wheel. 
That's just the bottom line. Oh my god, what card? Wait, is it a surprise or do you? No, it's I. I want her to have me like choosing for her. <laughs> I want her to have a Range Rover like so oh, bad because I want to be. They have a Range Rover boosh. with a fridge in the middle. Wait, like I want to be oh, in yeah, there. We have a fridge. We have a fridge. We have Lacroix in there. Yeah. <laughs> It's like nice. It's too, like it's too nice. Like I can't accept. It. She. Like, I've been begging her since. But May. the logic, I get it. Like you know, first of all, like it's amazing, anyways. But the logic, I get. Like if you're always yeah. together, it's kind of like. A sh- it's like your car too. It's like a shared car, and it's like for Christmas too. Like I always try to get everyone like extravagant, great gifts oh and whatever. God. But with her, I'm like, I, I, we were talking in the car, and I was like, I was gonna give you this mirror, call me Louis bag, but it's like five grand. Like I'd almost rather give you the bonus. And then I was like, wait, but could that be? Could that be towards the car? Like you know, right. I just I want it to be something that's. She's just so hardworking and amazing that I want it to be something like useful and that makes oh, her life yeah. easier because working for me full time is fucking hell. I, I mean, you are amazing. There. I mean, she is so good and you're like so good with like texting and stuff. Like, and think about how go, go, go I am. Yeah. In order to plan all of that, you have to be 10 oh. times more go, go, go. No, it's, a, it's actually you know? amazing. And it's, then they still like me and we're best friends and we giggle and travel for fun and like love each other so that's much. That's the best like, too when you have that connection. I mean, you're yeah. so good. You'll be like 30 minutes late. I mean, even when you were here going to Whitney last time, she's like texting for, like it's, it's she's hard. The girl. It's like, oh, a, I'm facetuning her right now. It's like, oh, oh wait, she's what is that? Picture. She's she's face tuning my literal that? nudes right now. It's me Who's and Lana the other Rhodes. One? I love who's the other one, Lana Rhodes. Oh, I can't. I'm blind, so I can't no. see. I love her. How was She's, that? You were shooting with her. It was so crazy. I did. I've been trying to be in my spicy website bag. Okay, love especially that. Especially during the holiday season, I feel like my subscribers on there like no, really, when the holiday it's season's the coming because it's like quadruple the content. Because I'm like I have gifts to buy. Wow. Like you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like I can't. And so. I've been doing some crazy shit on there. Like, Have you been? Do you show anything yet or no? Yeah, I mean, I just show like ass and titties and like but little not flashes nipple or, or anything. No nipple, super nipple. Oh yeah, I'm, oh, I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm pretty naked on there. Really? Okay, because I subscribe, yeah. but I never. Well, there's so many unlocking things. I see your stories and yeah. stuff like that. So. All the strategy. You don't yeah. need to. No, if you ever so want to see, I'll send it to okay. you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Lana and I did like a live the other night, and she obviously has done like porn for a long time. And yeah. Now she's kind of out of it and does like OF. But whenever I go live, I'll be like eating a taco and like a bra, and I'm just talking to people. And she was like. Fully naked. Like, no, like we got fully naked, but like just the way she does it, she's like, tip more for this, like knows how to do it. Yeah. Like was so smart at it. And I walked away and I was like, oh, wow. Like. Just made so much. I know that's like strippers too. Like you really have to, I didn't know you had to like ask people for money and hustle. Yeah. Oh, stripping, you just strip and people give you money, but you have Mm -hmm. to like hustle them. Mm -hmm. More dances, this. Oh, next dance, maybe that. I'm like, oh my God, it's so much work. And like, OF is very that. Like it's definitely a business. And she was a stripper, like a high end stripper for a long time. So she just got that. That dog in her, that hustle. And no, I, she's like gorgeous. She's like, yeah, she's like, to yeah. me, her, Riley Reed, they're like the legends of Absolutely. that industry. And I think. And I, I feel like I learned so much about the industry and how to monetize it and make it fun and stay mm-hmm. happy through them. And like Sky Bree even, like all oh, of yeah. them. Like, I'm just so grateful for all my friends in that industry because they they help me get to the bag and have fun while doing it. I love it. that you love it. Like, I love that. It's, you I should get it. into I did the love lives. It the time. I see. I'm not good like that. I'm not good with. I I did lives a couple years ago, and I'm just like not good at it. Like I mean, there'd be like ten people. I'd make no money. I don't know. Well, because here's the, the way that my team does this, and like it's actually crazy. So we'll do a live, and we'll go live for like an hour, and we're talking, and there's probably like uh, like a hundred people in there, just whatever, just the people who like paid for the live, and they're tipping. But that's not how you make the money. They then like record it all and chop it up and sell videos of the live, like so into it. So smart, and it's. It's the only reason I can buy everyone a car wow. or the lives. That's I'm not a, kidding. Is your main income OF then? Pretty much. There's some that like get right there, but it's like, what would you say is equal? Like the podcast, podcast, brand deals, AdSense, wow. appearances, touring, wow. I guess. Wow. Like, and they're all like, pretty the same. Um, or but OF like more. OF is still yeah. up there, especially because OF is the easiest to me. Yeah. Like it's the, everything else you're putting in the work, you're editing on Final Cut oh, Pro yeah. for hours, you're, you care, you whatever, but OF, it's like, here's my foot. Oh my God. OF like, was so much fun. I loved it. Like yeah. in 2020 when I went hardcore for like literally three months, I was like, I loved it. I was filming every day. I just loved it so much. You just feel, I don't know. I loved, I always love taking like nudes and sexy pictures. So Me it just too. like makes sense. Me too. Like, yeah. I, and I'm always just taking nudes. It's so great now that I have a long distance boyfriend. So I'm always taking a million nudes and I'm like, wait, babe, I'm sorry. You saw it first when I'm selling this. <laughs> okay. Well, that's like, good. Double. Yeah, no, yeah. I think that's like smart double tasking. Yeah. I've sold like a couple photos of us too. And I'm like, sorry, babe. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my God. He's so, would he ever do it? I don't think so. Not fully. You wouldn't ever do well, fully. I would never do it fully. No, I, I'll keep that for us. You know, yeah. the sex life. Oh, man, I wanted to now. do a fully tape so bad with him, but he just never would. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> One time. 
time he recorded it, I'm like, can I please sell this? And he's like, Stop. no. I want to yeah. watch it. Why am I like and that? Still I, there. I know. I <laughs> love too. watching people's sex tapes. I do too, actually. Yeah. Because it it's just like hot or whatever. I know. I, and like, yeah. I just made my hair girl show me her sex tape. I was, she was like doing my hair and was talking about it. And I was like, show me the sex tape. Wait, she does. No, she do, no, no, oh, no, no, no. It was just like just with, for fun. with her man. And I was like, I want to see this now. Oh, She's man. like curling my hair and I'm watching her get railed. Oh. We always have like viewing parties at our house. Like we'll That's like so show each other. And it's like, no, just she comes fun. to your house to do your hair. Yeah. I'm like in the salon. You're just like, watching. no, I, either though. Cause she has her own private room. We go crazy in there. Oh, like, it's, no. it's, it's yeah, fun. no, F is like fun for sure. I love that. If I, if I was like more confident and stuff now, maybe I just like gained weight. I I'm just like, you're oh, not. you're so hot. I just think like it was an era. It was a time. I'm glad I did it, but I'm just always like, yeah. But like, you know, like, do you watch Lena the plug? I was just going to say that you Took the words wonder, out of my mouth. I want to like have Ron, but I'm like, I wonder if she like is open. I, I don't know. She's There's so stuff. open. I love Lena. I I've, love Lena too. I love. She's always been so nice. Yeah. She was the first person who introduced me to OF. First person to get me followers. Like mm. I really love her. We did like our first thing together. And do you know that one a, a YouTube video that I really uploaded back in the day? Uh, yes, I've asked you about this before. Oh, where you yeah. watched them? I watched them have sex. That was the first day. time I saw you. I think and them. And I yeah. was just like. What the hell is going on? I was such a judge. On? I was like, mm, this is weird. This it was so hell. weird. YouTube <laughs> took it down. Don't upload that to YouTube. Because it was also in like a small room. It wasn't like a glamorous set. No, it's like the small room. <laughs> it was like a bed without a bed frame. You're like, whole thing. I think you're in her t-shirt or something like that. You have like her t-shirt on or something. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I was wearing her merch. I don't really remember. Honestly, I blocked yeah. it out. I like remember two flashes of it. But I've known Lena for like nine years, and she's just like that's wild. Really open and honest and sweet. You know. But like, does this surprise you now seeing her do all like? Because they were so long, like no guys, everything, and now yeah. she's like full on reality show who's we gonna just watched the whole thing at my Did house you? The, where do you called, see it i think it's on youtube no For it's the on their youtube letter. channel no there can be on it youtube is, it is it is i swear to god it's just like blurred and censored and then the tape was like sold did you watch the tape? Play, a paywall. I haven't watched the tape yet. I've seen like Twitter snippets. I want to watch it. I haven't seen either one. I'm like, I, I, I want to watch it too, but I'm like, sometimes I feel, because I do love her so much, I'm like, I don't know, this feels weird. No, I I like, like I watch one. all my friends porn, I swear to God. You do? But I have to. <laughs> I, like, I just have to know. But um, <laughs> they also have their show Plug Talk where they podcast with a girl. That's wild. On the internet and then they after no, all. No, that's like, crazy. But they're, you know, they've always been this way and to market it that well and make that much money and yeah. for Adam to just own it too, like not care if the internet's like shitting on anything and like. Do you think he doesn't care at all? Like that's what I want to know. I'm like, do you actually not care? Like you'd have to care a little bit. I think he, uh, A yeah. little bit, right? Because he gets a little bit. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe they really are fully because she really is fully does not get jealous. So maybe yeah. he's like that, but a guy is different, I feel. I Yeah, I think that like. He probably realized how profitable this was and was like, okay, yeah. let's run it. You know, he's a smart businessman. But I, I, I don't know what the behind the scenes could ever look like with that. I'm never. It's so interesting because I, I know that too. I love making money. And I actually like, I don't judge sex tapes. I love, I love doing them and stuff like that. But yeah. it's just such a different thing like with the person like you. like love. But again, maybe look at it as a business. I don't know. I, I would could love, never I have a threesome. Like ever, I've never had a threesome. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, never. I've had like four sums. Like <laughs> you're like, I just went with five right away. Yeah, four because right away. because then it feels more even. That's true, right? But a threesome, like I can't just like watch you, fuck my man. Maybe if it was like uh, I was fucking a couple or like I was yes, whatever. You're the third in my past life. I would right. say, but yeah. like I just I could never like I don't know. No, same. I I I could I was always as a third, and that's fine. But like to have someone with the person, I'm like, oh hell no. Yeah. It's more like watching him with her. I'd be like, I would like. I would go nuts. I'd probably like unalive somebody. Yeah. I'd be like, this is, I can't. People who oh. do it, but I've always said that to let us like, wow, you really are like just amazing that you have, you just cut it off. Like you have no yeah. attachment that way. Like, it's amazing. No, it's so great. I had an ex of mine want to like watch me fuck another guy on FaceTime. And I was like, are you insane? Oh, I've had people like that like, too. Yeah. I don't like that. I'm like, you're weird. That's odd. Don't. Yeah, I did it, but. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of like a threesome. <laughs> You kind of, that's wild. Yeah, but don't you, it was wild. for me, I don't know. Do you yeah. feel weird about it though when you're in a relationship? Like, it's like, was that weird for you to be like, oh, this is what he, I don't know. Yeah. To have someone else it be was, with that you? That was just in my very wild, crazy era. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm doing another wild, crazy. Like, now I just don't act like that and don't need to and don't want to and never will. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I feel the out. same way. I feel like it'd be like weird. I don't know. I did a yeah. podcast yesterday and they literally asked, and this is true, Moses was there. They're literally like, oh, would you have a threesome with you the weekend and Moses? <laughs> First of all, I'm like, yes. And I was like, actually, like the worst. I was like, I don't know. That's weird. First of all, I don't think the weekend's down. Moses is not down. I'm like, it, but it was. So but you odd. have to do it for the plot. Wait, no. can we talk about? Sorry, <laughs> do it for the plot. We have to talk about the weekend. I yes. purposefully have not like called you about this or like texted you about this, even though you <laughs> verbatim said you watched my calls ring. <laughs> on an of I was actually so nervous. No one ever FaceTimes me. <laughs> Wait, I love that she did. Wait, you saw that was on Just Trish. Just oh, okay. I was like, bitch. <laughs> but now, I was totally there, but I'm like, I 
like, I really get nervous. I don't know. It's true. Moses will tell you, like, I freeze yeah. if someone calls me or FaceTime scene. Like, I immediately, and it's not like I don't want to talk. It's just like, I don't know what to do. So I've I just, learned that our friendship will consist of hour long voice memos. I love voice memos. Well, actually, I don't love voice memos, but I don't mind them with you. Really? Usually I have him listen to my voice memos because they actually give me anxiety too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you and I just like spitball. No, I love yours. But yeah. sometimes I do. Like, sometimes if I'm like, if it's like five back and forth and then I like leave one and I'm like, I don't know. This is like a lot. You're so funny overthinking yeah. that. Like I, you I, could, getting, yeah, I get you anxiety send me, I was going to say you could send me you farting, but you don't want to hear that. No, um, but you I could don't. Send I me do anything. not do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love that you did. You were the only person to FaceTime me, and I thought that was like really sweet. So that's why I mentioned it, because I was like, I loved it. Like, I love it. I can't believe I was, I was scared. only person to FaceTime Yeah, me. I was we not were, a FaceTime person. We were crying in the car, Brooke and I. We had I just given her the Bronco. It. We stopped crying, and then we saw that, oh, and we started right, crying because it was like the same day. So yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, and we were freaking the fuck out. But anyways, I didn't like hit you up about the weekend because I wanted to save it for this. I right saw your now. comments on my TikTok. I always love when you yeah. comment on my TikTok. I'm like, okay, Tana, just I love being when like, you comment on mine. <laughs> I always comment on yours. I, I see it. I'm freak like, yeah. out. I get so excited because I just like, oh, you look so Stop, happy. Stop. You see them now. Oh. I want to comment ten times more because I always want to comment. All but I'm yours. Like, yeah, there's one of you reacting to our pregnancy. I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. Yeah. And then I go check the views. And, oh my god, it has like five million views. You'd hate to know I was on the toilet during that. I don't mind when people are on the toilet, like watching. I've been on the toilet, yeah. but when I when the D, when the weekend DMI is on the toilet and I Facetime my sister, or my sister Facetime me, so so I don't mind that. I mean, tell me, I don't. I, I purposefully like not watched it all too. Like I want to hear from you <laughs> what happened. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. And again, this is when you have a supportive partner like Mako with you and Jeff. Moses is very supportive of yeah. me in the weekend. You know what yeah. I mean? He's very. He's here for the. So you're winning. Yeah, <laughs> way winning. <laughs> But this might be the most exciting celebrity that I've ever had in my DMs. Tell now, tell now. What yes. do you say? Okay, what do so you, you don't sign? know any of it? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Oh and my I'm God. sorry if the viewers have already, but actually the viewers are eating it up. No, anyway. honestly, I've been telling this everywhere I go. Like Zach said, I did another podcast. I did it everywhere I go. I'm like the weekend DM meme. Mm. <laughs> I haven't blown up actually. There's like a mixed tile. Like one of these that, uh, not sponsored by the way, <laughs> but I had one blown up of his, just his, like Oscar blurred the rest of the people just to show his. Cause I saw it and it said like five minutes ago and it said Abel and I was like, oh my gosh. What did he say? Um, he said, uh, I know. Because I was like gonna show it, and then I was like, no. But he said, uh, "Thank." I have it memorized. He said, "Thanks for your support. Me and my team appreciate it." Praying hand emoji. So I was like, "Oh, he said me and my team." So it must actually be him, because you know, sometimes people run the account or whatever. Like, yeah. so I was like, "Oh, maybe it's not him." But he said, "Me and my team." So I was like, "I think this is. I think this is him." It was five minutes ago. So my sister's like, "No, you have to like message him back right away." Yeah. I texted Oscar. I texted Moses. And I texted my sister. I was just like, "Oh my gosh, like, what do I do?" Because Moses was even home. And so like, text back right away. I can't wait to get close enough to where I'm in that group too, and you text me. I will totally text you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> We can, but you care. Please. I feel like people like yes, just don't I care. Like, yes, okay. I care. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep you updated on this. Like, well, I have new tea, so I have new not tea. I have new uh, weekend updates. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so <laughs> the weekend updates. I love so, it. So, um, I was shook because I like vi- I seriously have visualized this moment. This is why I tell you like visualization and manifestation works so, so much. Real. Like if you can actually see it, like I really it really I does. I do that, it, and it works a thousand percent. I dream shit and it happens. I'm oh like, my I'll god. Thinking about shit, I dream it and then it if happens. you like see it, think about it enough, it happens. Yeah. And I was constantly constantly thinking I was just like he, you know he's gonna DM me one day and then like what do I say and all stuff like that so like when that happened I like thought I was hallucinating I was just like oh my gosh like he DM me so I saw it and I was like okay I gotta write back right away so my my sister and Moses was like oh compliment on his talent I was like I'm not gonna say has talent and then my sister's like play it cool but I just said me right back like OMG gagging crying loving like the idol change. did you watch the idol by the way I still haven't please watch the idol before Tuesday I think he's okay okay I we need to watch it it's a good one to watch with your guy because I kept telling everyone this like makes me so horny like it's crazy oh nothing makes God, me horny stop. but the idol we're watching the idol and Moses of course. And so it's like, to me, it was so hot. I did not know the weekend before this, but I was just like, so, I don't know what it was. I was like, I was embarrassed to watch it with Moses. I was so turned on. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So anyways, so I'm like, the idol changed my life. I told him, I was like, the idol changed my life. Like crying, crying, crying. And then I sent him like 20 pictures. I saw that. I sent him all the pictures of me and uh, his shirts and weekend stuff. And at the very end, I was like, will you come on my podcast? But he hadn't seen it. He hadn't seen it. And I was like, oh, that's probably better. Because everyone on TikTok was like, oh, no, you're doing too much. Like, that's too much. Play cool. No, you're never, you're Trisha. There's no such thing as too much. I was like, okay, this is my chance. Like, I want to make sure I can show my fan. So uh, he didn't see it. And I was like, oh, that's probably better, whatever. You know what I mean? And then um, this morning, I woke up. This morning at 6 a.m. That's why today has been a great day. I haven't looked at anything else. I was like, the, the, I'm not letting anything ruin this day. Like, Absolutely. I don't care. This nothing else. Over. Like, yeah, nothing. Th- this morning I woke up and it says. I feel honored to be in your presence on this day. I know. I know. Mark <laughs> the day. What is it? It's the 14th of December. Yes. December 14th. <laughs> and, and I, uh, once again, Abel is the is the highlight, the top of my, because I get no DMs, by the way, zero DMs. And he's at the top of it. And it literally was like, liked a message. So he like saw it, liked it or whatever. But I didn't want to open it. I was like. 
So like, all morning at breakfast, I was like, open it, see what part he liked. Because I sent him like 20 DMs. And yeah. I was like, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what one he liked. Um, and then I texted Oscar this morning too. I was like, oh my God, he liked the message. He saw it. Again, this one, again, I don't know for sure. I don't know if it's actually Abel or his I team. I feel like it's him. Could you imagine though, like the weekend just like on? <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. Well, what would be even crazier if it's actually him is Oscar's like, oh yeah, this is so weird. Like he, like he's a fan. He liked your message and he liked your photo. And I was like, what are you talking about? I like my photo. And then my last picture of me in Malibu, I went to the likes and it says liked by the weekend. <laughs> like public photo on my page doesn't follow me. <laughs> And so I was like, could you imagine? It's like actually the weekend. And he's like, I'm going to search for this person. He doesn't follow me. And he's just like. (laughs) Yes. Yes. That's. Oh, my. Malibu is so iconic. I know. I told her this morning. I'm like, the weekend. Is she two? (laughs) Two. One? How old is Malibu? (laughs) She's. uh, Oh, oh. She's. Oh, my God. I can't think. 15 months. The way I feel like Malibu is like five. Like she's so smart. She's she's, so tall too, and she like walks and yeah. And she's like, I feel like she's been in my life forever. I can't. I'm staring at the photo of us on the wall. It's actually so cute. That's Um, like my favorite photo. Yeah, it's my favorite photo in the world. I just can't imagine life without Malibu. She's five in my no same. She's everything. I love her so much. Did you play her like blinding lights that you bought for a dollar (laughs) twenty nine? Yes, I actually bought the rest of his songs on iTunes. I bought every single song because I'm like just in case he comes on my podcast or something. I need to like show that I bought every single one. (laughs) Like the fact that he DM'd me after that Zach saying clip. Like, is it just because I bought that his music? That clip was so viral. He's like... I saw that clip everywhere. That's so wild. That clip was so, he's like, so thanks viral. For, that's, that's when he DM'd me. It was after that. It was like, thanks for the support. I was like, after all the things I've done and tagged him in, I'm like, oh my God, wow. No, that clip was everywhere. I he supported I, like, it. I thought that in my head. I was like, he definitely saw that clip and DM'd her. And he liked he liked a clip of that too on like a fan page. He liked a clip of that publicly on Instagram. And so like, so I was just like, I screenshotted that. I screenshot it. So again, it could be someone like working. Maybe they share the account. I don't know. But I would like to think the weekend is just sitting there no, like liking pictures of me. I and- think celebrities <laughs> use their Instagrams. Like their team will do the certain things, you know? Like, if I send out PR, I'll page run it, but like, you know, or like That's whatever. What I'm saying, Not yeah. that I'm the weekend, but I mean like even just You're any weekend. celebrities. You're my weekend. You're, You're so equivalent sorry. to the weekend. You're my female weekend. <laughs> you are. Trish. Yeah, for sure. You're my weekend. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank we you. start crying. I know, me like, too. Why are we so emotional today? I, I don't know. I love it though. It's, I know, me It's too. the end it's, of the year. I feel like. I, I love this time of year too, the holiday. I know. It, no, nothing could break my stride right now because it's like between that and you being here. And it's just like, seriously, I mean it. Like, like fully I'm just, pregnant with a baby and she's gassing pregnant, me up for being here. Like all, I, all of it's happy. You know what I mean? All it's good. I'm just so happy with how close we've gotten this year. And I'm like so genuinely excited for the future of our friendship. Like, I'm excited too because I've always, and I thought about this day in the car. I literally was like, you've always been. And like you really are like the it girl now, but like you've always been so humbled. Like everything, like with the Jake, everything when you're like high, sure and whatever. Nice like <laughs> in your highs of your career, not high. both. Probably was <laughs> like high the during the highs. Let's be real. The um, you know, Tanaka and like all that stuff like that. Like you know, it's just like canceled now. It's just everything. It's like your show. It's you've always been so humble. You've always been so nice. Every time I've seen you, I like, just will like bo- like bottom line like you telling me that you like after all the she who shall not be named shit happened. Like oh. you genuinely <laughs> feeling like you'd never had like a good girlfriend. Like I was like I'm dedicating my life to showing this woman that like I will be there for her until the end of time. And no, and you've always but you've always been that way. I mean, we've gotten closer now, but you've always but every time I've seen you, you've always been that way. Like you've always yeah. like texted, reached out through all this stuff, and yeah, it's yeah. But I just always... love it now. Like the fact that I can send you like a TikTok or giggle, and we're like. Oh. Oh, yeah, like no, so I, well, also because you're like, you know, when you get like older too, it's just like, you know, now I feel like we're more close and like connected because yeah. you're like, go, well, you've gone through so much too. So have you, but it's like, yeah, I think everything happened for a reason for us to become close at this time. Yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah. I love, and I love to see it. I love to see you like grown so much at 25 because I got 25, I was still such a mess. And I was like, wow, you really like, you're so sweet. you know yourself, you're still like happy. Yeah, for sure. No, for but, sure. I mean, same, but yeah. I feel like you just like know yourself and I well, like, you are a so big much. part of that. Like you inspire me to be better. And oh. it's it's the best thing ever. Well, you speaking inspire of, me. You're literally like doing everything. Speaking of our past lives. Oh my God. I feel like you're like, the host. I love this. You're I so know, good sorry, at trans- sorry, sorry, sorry. You're I so good. So no, I love it. The transition. I good. say fucking everything to like talk to you about when we sit down. I love it. Shane's no, babies. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? I'm laughing. Cause like you, uh, yeah. Shane's babies. Can I have a white claw? <laughs> <laughs> What's your least favorite food in the world? Uh, Grapefruits are my top five. Wait, really? Of your top? Yeah. Hot dogs? 
Really? Yeah. I would like do oh, anything for a ballpark glizzy. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm not like in New York City. Like if I'm not leaving oh. somewhere drunk at those carts, like can I put mayonnaise on really? it? Like I'm like upset. I don't like the texture of it. I don't like the texture of a wiener dog. Like even the corn dog, I just eat the corn. No way. Yeah, I'm not a hot dog. Wiener. So when you get uh, the Korean ones are like cheese though. Oh, yeah. just cheese. Yeah, just like fried oh, cheese. God, I want that right now. It was so good. I had one today. There's one like 30 minutes from. There's one close to you actually. Do you go get it? Yeah, because you can get it fresh there. But yeah. there's a place near you. When I did the podcast yesterday, I was near. She lives like really close to you, like t- like ten minutes. But there's this place called the Melt. Have you been? What's oh, your I have favorite a while food? Ago. What's your favorite food before? First of all, we have to on canceled. I think this when you come on, yeah. like let's eat, like let's really do okay, wh- what love we do. That. Okay. Um, my favorite food in the entire world. Yeah, hot Cheetos. What? It's like my death row meal, I swear to God, would be a plate of hot Cheetos with queso until I'm completely full. What? I'm not kidding. I'm not like obsessed, but I love hot Cheetos. I love them Have you ever done the last meal with Mythical Kitchen? No, I want to though. That would be everything. I just saw like Emma Chamberlain's and I was like, I would love. You need to do that too. What is your last meal? Oh, there's this weird though, because you like you get like ten things. Like mm-hmm. there's is like you have to pick so much. Um, I don't know. I guess it would probably be pasta. Like I love like lasagna. I a love like big vodka. Oh, me over. oh yeah, he makes bend really good over. vodka. There's a place near you that has a grilled cheese mac and cheese. I have had the melt. Oh, oh so you have yeah. had that before? It's so good. It used to be on Vine. Is it still on Vine? No, it's know. by it's on La Brea by that Target. Oh, that's my favorite Target. Really? Weirdly. We're just saying it's like so congested. I used to go there all the time. I'm like, oh, it's so hard to get to. Really? The parking structure. It is, yeah. But the, there's something about the inside of that Target. I just feel like the Target put their foot into that Wait, Target. Really? Yeah, and the good Targets. I, whoa. Oh my God. That's take that, me to good yeah. Targets. Can we go to Target? Can you go to this one here? Like literally at night? It's so beautiful. I will tell Jeff that I'm in traffic and go with you okay, to Target after this. I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm so down because this one is magical. It has archways with flowers and lights. It's Christmas all year round. Like it's when we Target first moved here, Disneyland. it's magical. And this one is amazing. I I saw you giving her the cozy basket with all the like Target stuff. The fact that he went in a Bath and Body Works when he hates the smells too. Yeah, I was he hates crying. the smells of it. <laughs> I was crying at that TikTok. I do ask him to but, do those. I'm always like, can you go get me a bird basket? Because it's just like I, I never had anyone do it, but he's so good at it. So. It's, no, it's insane. I was I, I watched that and I'm like. I like start a fight with Makoa. I'm like, where's my bird basket? <laughs> like, relax. I just, well, yeah, because he's like not on TikTok. Or does he do? Does he on TikTok? No. Yeah, if you don't see it, I keep showing. I'm always like, look at this. Or I favorite it to show up. Yeah. I'm like, wow, so many bird baskets. <laughs> he is like such a boy, which I hate. Like, like it's like he's always watching like football or like video oh, games. Okay, like that yeah. is that's the downfall of a straight man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Where I woke up in Vegas and the hotel we were staying in had three TVs and all of them had a different football game on, and I was like, am I gay? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'd scare the shit out of me. That's then, my worst nightmare, actually. But I like adore him so much that I watch him get all excited about okay, it. Okay, that's it makes cute then. And we, he, I was talking to him. He was like watching a game on his phone and a game on the TV. And I was like, I just don't understand why. And he was like, Babe, it's like when you're watching the Kardashians and scrolling on TikTok. And okay. I was like, That analogy made it make yeah, a little more sense, sense to me. I was like, Okay. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is so chaotic. We're all over the place. I was gonna talk about Hot Cheetos, worst food, Target. I was like, Oh, oh my, my god, god. We're like all over. <laughs> I don't even realize how like ADHD core we go. I love it though. Like it is fun because I can like. My brain keeps up, but I was like, wait, there was a place we were going. Your death row meal. I want to know it. <laughs> just pasta's really, it's really like lasagna, oh, big CD, vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I just love cheeses. I love, you know, I just love anything like Have that. Have you ever taken an Adderall? Never. Really? Oh, Shane's babies. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Shane used to take Adderall to be skinny. <laughs> That's where we were going, okay? That's where we were going. Oh my god! I feel like we just went around the world and back. Welcome back. We're in Trisha's like, castle. I always wanted to take Adderall to be skinny because I remember Shane took Adderall. Maybe it wasn't to be skinny. Maybe it was just because he needed it or something. But he said it was like a good appetite yeah. suppressant. It makes me like not ADHD. It does make you not eat though, and like whatever. I would just us on Adderall would be so funny because we'd just be like, anyways, here's topic three. Like we'd be like actually oh, on track. I, yeah, I can't even imagine me on Adderall. Like, I can't podcast on it because I feel like I lose my like silliness. It makes me very like focused. Like I can focus oh, on one thing bad. at once and like work really hard. I wonder right? what it would take because I don't think I have ADHD so I wonder maybe I do I don't know what that entails but I wonder what it would make me feel like if you I didn't have it. You I'm like I kind of think you do. Do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I know nothing about it. Like we're just both really easily distracted and the ability to do like, I, like 80 things you, at once. That's, oh but that's true. Like if someone's yeah. listening to music I'm like I can't talk to you while the music's playing. Like, yeah it's like so, I'm, think, I'm like listening oh, to the lyrics of the song. Maybe I had it. But you kind of can it. and like keep up. Like you can keep up with like eight conversations at once which is like rare. That's true I can and my, my, yeah. my brain's always like going I'm always like thinking about other things like that so we have to talk about the Adderall. Ozempic shots at the party and Shane <laughs> babies. Oz- I loved the Ozempic shots. <laughs> I know, I know, I was like, What's like with the Ad- Are you talking about the Adderall now? 
No, I don't even know. I don't know where we <laughs> I are. I just want to know if I did I'm it. I'm just leaving my own body staring okay, okay, at you. Okay, okay. Honestly. Um, no, Shane's no, I was babies, just Shane's though. Shane loves you, though. So I think we can talk about Shane with you because he, he loves you. Or yeah. should we? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird to think he's a father. Yeah. It's, it's so it's crazy. wild. I know. And Ryland's like making a Christmas movie right now. He's doing like really? a Kickstarter for $300,000 he wants. Really? Yeah. And I think people, I you don't have know. to have a viewing party. Yeah. But I was like, how are you doing a movie with new babies? Because like when yeah. I, when you have and a newborn. Two of them. Like, Twins. I was so beside myself. And I have like Moses, who's like the best. I'm like, how are you doing two babies? How does that work? Like when two gays want to have a baby, mm-hmm. what are they like? So who's, is it both of their babies? Like, how does that work? Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think there's both is. I don't know. I think there's different ways. I think you can like, you know, get an embryo made. You can do it from like your own and you have the same egg donor. I think there's like so many ways. I want to say they each have one. I'm pretty sure from the same egg donor. And then it, there's obviously female <sighs> right. something in there, right? To make yes. it, I don't there's you know. I dropped out. <laughs> there's an Who's egg. Who's egg? Sperm. I think you get an egg donor. I think. Yeah. So it's like a stranger you think? Um, I don't know. I want to, like, maybe someone they don't know, but I think they might have met. I kind of, like, did a deep dive into this because I didn't know a lot, and then I, like, started, like, watching. Yeah. So I think it's that, and then you can, I don't know. <laughs> How many brain cells does it take to figure this out? I don't I'm know. I'm actually so bad with this stuff. Um, yeah, I don't understand. No, it's, I know you can, like, pick genders and stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, I, I know it's a lot of work. a boyfriend whose family was, like, super loaded, and... The mom was like fifty, and she was like, "I want another baby," and they like chose everything down to the eye color. Yeah, and shit. And I was like, Isn't "This that is crazy. wild." Yeah, that's it was the crazy. cutest baby ever, though. Like they, they oh, did. The, so they knew. They're like, "Yeah, they nailed this." It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's baby wild. hall. Like, would you- <laughs> it is crazy. It's crazy, and then like the internet always has like so much to say. Like, would you put your baby? If you had a baby, would you post it? Yeah. Like right away, but like I don't judge because I posted mine a day after I gave birth. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> <You're> like, <"Sup." laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. But people will judge like, oh, they did it right away. And I think I just don't hide anything. That's I would I never feel. subject my kid to any of like family channel bullshit. Crazy. Like yeah. I appreciate that everything that you do is so authentic, and like it's not like you're like let me go wake Malibu to film her. Like it's all authentic moments. Yeah. And you know, as they get older, I want it to be like fully their choice. And yeah, yeah it's such a it's such a difficult thing because yeah. it's like I we do film every single thing where we could have two hour vlogs every day, but I was just yeah. like, but yeah. It's so weird when they set them up in like scenarios and stuff like that yeah. and try to scare them or I don't know. Or like, yeah, or like making kids do brand deals. Like, like That's wild, yeah. At least put it in a Coogan fund if you're going to do that. But like, yeah, don't, they you should. Know? They really should for like YouTube babies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like that's like that. All that is like super weird to me. I don't know, you know, but it's weird. Yeah. Like we don't have anything to go off of. This is the first generation yeah. where there's social media is consuming our lives and babies it, it is weird. It's so odd because it's like one of those things where it's like if you show a picture at all, you're like a bad parent. But it's like, but you're so happy and so proud. Like, I just birthed that baby. I'm going to show this baby. You yeah, know what I mean? But It's a part of you. Yeah. It's, it's a tough one. I yeah, I don't know. But... I don't know. I'll figure that out when I cross when that I bridge, the baby, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he's so cute. Right now. I know. How does I don't, it feel? Um, I never feel pregnant. I never feel pregnant until like never actually. <laughs> until the baby comes. Like I never. Sort of, like you don't feel pregnant right now. I you never feel, feel the pregnant. Same. And then even the Do you last, like forget about it? Kind of. Especially this one. Like the first one you're just like so in like I'm pregnant and you like love it. And I like every day I take a picture of my belly. But this one, yeah, you kind of forget. And honestly like Malibu didn't punch or kick or anything. Like, I was honestly scared. I was like, oh, is she is she okay in there? But yeah. she was just chill. She would just like slightly move around. Like that's cool when the baby starts moving out. Like for me I felt it at like six months and that you just feel like little like – it's like a little. It feels like a baby whale just going. Groo. What? Is, what could you like compare it to? Is the, as a feeling that like I would know. Oh my god! I, I don't know. And when your than, stomach like gurgles or like. No, Whoa. not even. No, because it's like it's literally something inside that kind of pushes it around. Like, like it's like if you're you see it in your skin, so you just see this little thing like moving around. I don't know how to explain it. Like, there's literally no. A, a dolphin, a whale is how I would just like, Moses yeah. with the water, I love yeah. him. He's like a fish, a dolphin. <laughs> it's very uh, that. It's, that's the cool feeling. I've never been like punched or kicked I'm in the I'm terrified to be pregnant. Wait, I don't know really? if I ever will be. I Why? think I would want a surrogate. Wait, really? And I'd want to pick up my kid like a venti iced latte. I love it. That's the like, new thing, I feel. I feel like everyone's doing the surrogate route, I got, the Kardashians. Because I'm and, so like hypochondriac oriented. Like I ever, I would feel like one little thing and like rush to the hospital. And, like, I would think say I'm if you and, could, I, I would say try your first. Because you know what? Like... It's like it's my favorite. I could be pregnant I'd like have ten to live times. Here and like cry to you yes, every day. Yes, please. Not oh my god, I'm I'll be your kidding. doula. <laughs> to care of you. <laughs> it's just like I upstairs in a pink bathtub. Oh, and there's like crystals everywhere. That would be so much fun. Honestly, actually, it would be. I think I would be a good doula because I'm like really good with like pregnancy. I love being pregnant. I love everything about it. So, how many kids do you want total? We thought after this one, like done, but 
Now I kind of want four because three is like weird. It's a bad number, but I feel yeah. like four is, you know, equal. Amazing. And, yeah. I see you having like a giant family. <sighs> I'm getting older. I mean, I am, I'm going to be 36 next year. So I think 40, you know, Shanti just had, is pregnant at 43 or something. So yeah. I feel like maybe I can have a baby at 40 mm. still. So we'll see. Whitney Cummings is about to pop right now too. She's Does she not have like, it yet? I, I don't, I actually don't know what's like going on there. I think she, I don't know what I can, like, say. She was, like, okay. texting me the, like, details, and I'm not about to air her out right, in right. any way, you know? Oh, but so you guys are, like, close like that. Yeah, she's, like, really just, like, good to me. Like, always That's hits me nice. up and, like, mentors me. And, like, she texts me, like, every other day, like, do not f*** it up with this man. Just let him love you. Don't be a freak. Oh, my God. Does like, she know him? Has she met him or not Yeah, yet? she met him, and she really liked him. Wait, how? So you guys, like, hang out? I'm so confused. I took That's him. So cool. I took him to, because when he came here, I was like, I, you know, I want to like take you to parts of my world so you understand like what I do and whatever. And it, it's funny because it like the week he came was like not an average week in my life. Like Tim Dillon had a Christmas party and Tim Dillon's my idol. He always has been. I think that's so random. What's he known for? I know him. Comedy. I've seen him. Okay. Like stand up comedy. Okay, got but it. he's the most hilarious person ever. Matt Rife, take notes. But, um, <laughs> He's so funny, and Tim Dillon had a Christmas party, and I was like, we have to go. Or uh, not Christmas, um, Friendsgiving. Oh, okay. And I took him, and we get there, and it's like David Spade walking around, oh and like God. all these like famous-ass people walking around. I was like, babe, this is not every day in my life, I promise you. He's like, you. wow, like, LA. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and I'm like, no, like this is not every day, whatever. But I brought Makoa, and Whitney was there, and everyone was there, and met him, and everyone just like loved him. And that was cool, too, because I think the comedy world's like different, you know? Like, yeah. they're honest as like, if they don't like your fucking boyfriend, they're going to say it to his face and crack a joke. I've never like, known, like, comedians like that. Like, yeah. I, and I, but I like that because it's, like, comedians aren't talking shit about you behind their back, behind your back. Like, you're yeah. all going to go make the most offensive jokes to each other's faces, and there's real friendship in that. And that's, like, why I've tried to be more in that world than the shitty influencer space yeah, as of late, you know? For and sure. Yeah, so I, I brought him there, and Whitney met him, and she, like, loved him. Okay. And she was just being, like, so sweet. She's like, look at him over there doing his own thing. Like, he, you don't need to, like, stand by his side, and that's awesome. Like, oh, he's, like, that's cute. So she, like, yeah. points that stuff out. Yeah. And yeah, and it was just like, yeah, that was really sweet. And then like the next day, Megan Trainer came over, and I was like, I swear to God, this isn't my That's life. That's like, wild. Like, bam. and she was like screaming for him. It was fucking she loved wild. him. That was crazy. I remember on that podcast, she's like he needs to come out here. <laughs> Megan, yeah, like, I love Megan, Megan, but she's so wild. She's sometimes. so wild. Someone like commented that she's like an older JoJo Siwa, and I like fully. Oh see my god, it. I can see you that know? for sure. I mean, people said that like about so, me, and I take offense to it a little bit. I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, and polar. You, yeah, and yeah, Megan's more like honest and real, like. Though, you know, like, like JoJo, yeah, like yeah. more of a like she cares more. Who did like you like to interview shit. better, JoJo or Megan? Megan, oh, because you love JoJo, I feel right. Uh, well, you know, Mine I felt the Colleen stuff. No, I mean, yeah. yeah, but that changed my whole opinion. Oh, like, it's you know, really, absolutely. I ride for Trish, we ride at dawn, we ride at dawn, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get that way too. I'm like, oh, if you like, it's kind of, I, I get that. Yeah. Sometimes who you associate with. Yeah. So the, I haven't seen her since. Like it's, that's you haven't heard from JoJo. Her? Like, yeah. And she always invites me to like her holiday parties and shit. And I feel like she didn't because she knows that I ride for you. Same. I used to get yeah. invited to all her parties and I was like, oh, this year yeah. I did not get the invite. That's okay. We <laughs> I mean, don't need to follow and block her. So. We, <laughs> as you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you deserve. <laughs> Queen. Um. Yeah, I mean, and Chris Olsen was there, and, like, it was a – I feel like the viewers didn't really enjoy it because it was a very, like, ADHD conversation and four people so on the su- mic. Oh, the four people on the mic always get me. But I'm yeah. kind of surprised because I just feel like it's the same audience. Like, I, yeah. was, I was shocked to see the comments because we talked about this, and I was kind of shocked to see the comments, actually. Yeah. Because I think they just don't get, like, maybe – especially it, you. I feel like you have such a sense of humor people can, like, joke so far with, and people are like, wow, that's, like, rude yeah. or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, and it's, like, not at all. I also just feel like – Certain people like sit down on a podcast and podcasters and influencers are so much better at understanding like podcast etiquette and the viewer is never going to enjoy a conversation that like the way we are off camera, like you and I, we're going to interrupt each other a million times. We're going to fucking be distracted about a million things. We're going to like whatever, like, but when that translates on camera, I feel like it's hard, harder to watch. Yeah, definitely. You know, so it it felt like an off camera conversation and I can see that's why like. Yeah. And you guys kept switching positions, which was like a lot. Yeah. The lighting of it all. Is that what happened? Because I was like, why do they keep switching? Yeah. The sunlight was, and that's another thing too, like you know, like an influencer's down to just come on and be like, I don't give a fuck how this, like whatever, but like right. a, a mainstream celebrity is going to like, right. you know, because they work in that world yeah, where yeah. it's like the lighting needs to be perfect to everything, you know, so it's just a different like ballpark. I'm waiting for someone to like want to switch sides with me and like one day to be like, can I actually sit on, was it you or someone wanted to sit on this side and I'm fine I with it. Oh no, me. maybe Jeff. Maybe, was Jeff on this side? No, Jeff and I were here. Oh right, on his podcast he was over here. 
Uh, was he? And I was sitting with you. And I was like, this is so weird. That was so fun, though. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah. And but, I, I yeah. can't wait for the day someone does ask me, like, can I actually sit over there? But I never had, like, big... You better tell them, no, you're Trisha fucking paid us. I'm like, I'm sitting thing. right here. Right fucking here, Yeah, bitch. I haven't had any mainstream yet, but maybe the weekend. He can sit wherever. He can sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll sit there. Not, like, right here. <laughs> you sat right here. <laughs> I am a gag. Stop. Please watch The Idol before I see you next time. I promise. Um, the Idol had reached a billion in streams on Spotify literally yesterday, and I, I need think to watch I have it. something to I'm going to save them. it for my man. He gets here in like a couple days, and I'm, we're going to binge watch oh it. Oh my God, will he be there when I'm there? Oh, you thought maybe. Yes. I think he's going to be at the house when you're there, and I'm so excited Cute. for you to meet him. I can't wait. Okay, yeah. I'm so excited. We were, I was making him watch Just Trish, and I was like falling asleep. And then you mentioned me, and he was like, babe, babe, look. Really? Like, and it was really cute. I, we always mention you, like, all the time. I just love it. I we love always use you as a thumbnail. <laughs> you guys are my soulmate. Like Every week, my I'm soulmate's like, Tana. <laughs> my literal. You said something where you were like, on your last podcast, you were like yellow. What were you dressed up as? Chica from uh, Five Nights at Freddy. You haven't seen Five Nights at Freddy? What is Chica? <laughs> Wait, you haven't seen Five Nights at Freddy? No. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's is all it scary? TikTok. Oh, kind of. I mean, it's like supposed to be. It's like this, like it's based on a video game, like a horror video game about like I played the game. The children are like dead inside the animal. Oh, you played the game, so yeah. you know it. It's like the security guard. It's like that's what the movie's about. Well, she's like a little gamer girl, so she's always playing some shit that she like makes me play. Oh, so you played it with the animatronics? I think yeah, but I and like, like don't. Secu- really... It's cute. Josh Hutcherson oh. is in it. Like it's really oh, wow. cute, and it's like these little kids that were unalived, and they're in these little animatronics now. You're so good at saying unalived. I say the most fucked up shit and say unalived that. almost sounds worse than the other it thing. It kind of does because I'm like it almost sounds like. Yeah. Offing someone or something. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of sounds weird. I need to watch yeah. it. But yeah, so you yeah. were yellow. <laughs> you can't just say that. I was just the color yellow. <laughs> no, you were chica. Um, you remember. That's good. I listen yeah. to you. No, you are a great listener. I think that's why you're a good podcaster and a good friend because I, you just listen. I don't listen to I'm people. Now i That made me want to tear up. I don't know No, why. but it's true. I love you. Aww. No, um, you really are. You're so good at listening. People, especially you or anybody, just not good at listening anymore. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, but I don't listen to everyone. I listen to you. Like, really? You know I don't I, believe that. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I'm like planning my outfits in my head when most people are really? talking. <laughs> yes. Because I feel like out there you could talk to like Isaiah the photographer, you could talk to Amari, you're like talking to everybody. You're yeah. so good at that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, I love all of you guys so much. But like if I'm in a small talk conversation, like with someone like at an event or wherever I go, like I'm thinking really? about. Yeah, oh I'm yeah. Surprised. I feel like even when I've seen you like before, I feel like you've always been. Even when I saw you like drunk one time after like a award show, and you were like so in it. I've just always loved you. I'm in it with you a hundred times. It was so cool. I I don't know where it was like an after party or something. I never go out, and I was just like, oh my god, Tana's talking. Was it streaming? I think so. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, I remember saw you like the thing, and you were so you were talking to me in the bathroom, and I was like, oh my god, I felt cool because I knew no one, and I was like, wow. I love you. Yeah, I, I always remember that moment because I was like, oh, you actually talked to me like no one else talked to me. So. Ew. It, and that, again, bringing me back to why I hate everyone. But you were Same. saying in your yellow, you were like, Tana could do anything wrong and I'm still going to have her back. Always. Like the wine lady or whatever. And I was oh, like, well, you know, we should get to that. Your top moments because that's part of it. Yeah, we well, always f- off on the note card. Should we try it today? Well, this is actual, yeah, because we have our, this is the reason you're here is for your top 10 dramatic moments of 2023. But before we do, let's just real quick talk about the Seth MacFarlane party because the Ozempic shots. Did you first off, did you take one? I did take one. Um, did you shoot, did you put it in your leg? What'd you no, do? No, no, no. It was like a shot. Like it was like a jello shot in it. And what? people were saying that there was Ozempic in it. Everyone was saying it at the party and I was like, fuck it, honestly. Like oh. I was drunk and like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> did you feel like eating? Yeah, then the next day I had like a smorgasbord of McDonald's on my chest. So I don't oh. think there was Ozempic in it. Let's <laughs> okay, be real. Okay. I you thought know. I was like, is that real? But obviously you took it by mouth was jello. Probably didn't have Ozempic. You should have to like shoot that in. Well or they something. no, they have Ozempic tablets. Why I know that? Don't ask. No, oh, kidding, they do. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take one after pregnancy. Wait. I want to take everyone's on Ozempic. I'm gonna be on Ozempic. Okay, wait, we'll we'll cut back in. Okay, we'll go back to Oprah's Seth McFarland's on party. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was on a weight loss age. We she didn't a, say we just had a five minute off camera conversation about like the levels of of the, how offensive it would be to talk about Ozempic. Oh, right, because then people get offended. To me, I'm so open about it where I'd be like, also, I feel like if I took it, I could take it because I might be pre diabetic and I would have, I, I mean, probably. Yeah. I feel it like runs most in my family diabetes, actually. Okay. It's always skipped a generation and my mom didn't have it. So, like, there's a part of me where I'm like, I could see that. Okay, so maybe, maybe the Ozempic. Yeah, one day. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, if I took Ozempic, you guys, you'd be the first to know. I mean, people wouldn't know if I was skinny all of a sudden. I've I have so much skinny. Ozempic tea that one day I'll just drop either on I Just Trish that. or Canceled and Please. we'll get there because the stories we'll are insane. Simultaneously. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to go out with a bang this year and not be wildly canceled Same. Before. We're just having good, good vibes. Yeah, we're happy. We're good. thriving. Yes. Did you see Adam Sandler at that party? <laughs> no, Trisha. Because I saw the get and ready with me. You're like, get ready with me to go meet Adam Sandler. Everyone's like, why did you shake Trisha? And you're like, I'm a plus one. The- but also... <laughs> Yes, go with your story because I have an, I have a, I have, okay, I have a simil
okay. I Mine know. was, I'll just say it quickly, but we we had the same thing where I wasn't like, the beginning of the year, I was like so miserable, wasn't going out. And then someone's like, oh, I'm throwing this party and Adam Sandler's going to be there. It's like in Malibu, it was like this thing and he's from Malibu. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to get full glam. Went to the party, he wasn't there. And I was like, okay, long story short, I was so sad. I literally was dressed up full glam, ready to take a picture with him. And yep. then I saw our friend, I was like, well, where's same. Adam? I did my makeup for five hours, like ensuring it was perfect. And everyone was saying, like, Adam Sandler and Seth MacFarlane know each other and they go to his parties and, like, whatever. I get there. I walk in. I find out Adam Sandler's in Oklahoma City doing a show. So he was not there (laughs) at all. Um, But I don't know if I meant to meet him, you know? I know. I get the same way because I feel like he may not vibe. You know what I mean? You'll get a gag out of this. I drove past his apartment in Maui. Like, he has, like, an apartment in Maui. Oh, he loves Maui. Maui. Yeah, he films all his movies there. And and McCall was like, that's Adam Sandler's apartment. I started crying. Like, was it big? Like, an apartment, I think, small. It was like like a condo on the beach. It was like yeah, it was like right by the beach. Wow, and super nice, like glass, like everything. Oh, okay. So it's like know, okay, it was bougie, nice. bougie. Yeah. And Maui's expensive. Have you seen all his movies in Hawaii? All the ones he's oh filmed there. Oh my god, there. of course, every 51st single one. Fifty first days. Yeah, just go, just with, go it. with it. We got married at the hotel. Just go with was that? We were like, no, you didn't. Yes, we did. It was it was awful though because it was not like the movie. <laughs> What? Oh, wait, explain. Yeah, because we saw it in the movie, like the entrance and everything's so grand. I was like, we're getting married there. That's why we did the New Year's Eve wedding. I'm like, we're going there. And this one I was making tons of money. So I was like, we're going to go there. But it was like all under construction when we went. It kind of was like a flop. And it was over New Year's Eve. And it was $2,500 a night for rooms. And we got 12 rooms for our guests. So we're just like literally How went many too nights? much. It was, <laughs> it was. How many nights? Overall, like with the wedding, it was like $200,000 altogether. Like you got the wedding there. We got the New Year's Eve, like fireworks, all that stuff Weddings like that. Weddings are so expensive. But, but the actual wedding part was actually relatively cheap compared. Was this the black dress or no? No. This is the white dress. Yeah. So I had a white dress with like, we had luau's. They did like this cute Hawaiian ceremony. Like the guy was, it was yeah. really, um, honestly, I would highly recommend doing like a destination wedding over. Uh, I 100% will. You know, because it's like small. Smaller people, so you can see more people. It's way less expensive. It was so much more beautiful. I actually Absolutely. love our Hawaiian pictures better than our LA ones. Yeah, you know? I, I don't think I'd ever have an LA wedding because I even just with all that fake shit with Jake and like yeah. seeing how that went down, you know, like it like made me realize like I don't want a clout wedding. Like I want the people I love there yeah. at a destination. Who for paid sure. for that wedding? Um, was it sponsored? It was heavily sponsored. Okay, so you didn't Jake pay for it. Paid for anything else? I didn't pay. You didn't pay anything? But he was. We were so you know, dead set on this live stream, making a bunch of money. And then I took away zero dollars. Negative. Why? Cause think about it, all the hair and makeup and then everything. Like oh, because, I, Oh, because of the expenses you guys had to like pay out expenses first. No, just the live stream platform was like a flop. And really? so like it, like, yeah, like it didn't. Oh, I'm up. shocked. Yeah. Oh, and that's, and then everyone was like, you got married for money. And I was like, ah, it was just love and zero dollars. <laughs> it was awesome. Me nothing. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh man. Know. That's the worst. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know that. All right, let's go to... We're finally using note cards, you guys. I know. Well, Oscar, shout out Oscar for helping me. Co- like, he he compiled a lot of this. Some of these I had to, like, look up. I knew most of them, but some of them I was like, wait, what is this? It I was probably like, won't even know half. Some of it was, like, someone named... There was, like, a Mads, Mads slip up or yeah. something or switch up. And I was like, wait, what the oh heck? I just God, have this, this is insane. Okay, so let's go... Should we go speed round with it? Well, you have to you have to rate them. So there's, oh, there's okay. the category. We can. We can totally go speed round. No, no, no. All of it. Whatever I'm you want to do. Tana's most dramatic 2023 moments. Here it is. End of... So you have to rate it as unserious, dramatic, or fully canceled. Unserious, dramatic, or fully canceled. First of yeah. all, this podcast is so much better than canceled. <laughs> like, the preparation. Like, I wish we did anything. Shout out, Oscar. Because I wanted to do, like, a top moments of the year, but I was like, we need to just do top Tana moments, because there's literally so That's much. That's just you loving me, though. No, you literally I'll are in the news. I'll come back on for top all moments, though. Yeah, oh my god, that'd be fun. Again, next week. January, not kidding. <laughs> okay, that'd be Let's so fun. Okay, honestly, every month you can come, please. Please. I'll just text. I always think, do I text you or Paige? Because I feel, like, weird texting you. I'm like, do you want to come on again? Girl. But I know you're busy, and she Paige feels is so weird on it. Texting me, like, please. So Sometimes I do. I'm like, oh my god, she's busy. Like, I do no, not need to I'm be texting. I'm never too busy her. for you. And you what, busy. the day you realize that is the day we're gonna have a full Simple Life series <laughs> and be billionaires. Oh, I'm so ready for that. Like, 100. Like, percent I'm never too busy. I for think you. I'm feeling more comfortable now to like I that you so. want to hang out and stuff like you that. You can yeah. always text me. I would do anything with you. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean I'm that. done. We gotta go. I'm done. I've got just so much to do. I really mean that. I see McCall. Yeah, I, I know you do. I love you. Okay. First one. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Um, <laughs> can't fully canceled. Okay. Unserious or dramatic. or dramatic. Okay. Okay. Telling Cynthia the wine lady to. Blank. <laughs> <laughs> Fully canceled. Fully canceled? Fully canceled, for sure. Do you regret it, or are you like, whatever, it shouldn't have been that big of a deal? I think it's hard because I say things. <laughs> I was talking about this yesterday, like, with Amari, I just... 
what the headline said was not what I said on the podcast. If you go and watch the clip, I don't want anyone to die. What That's did you not say? What I, said. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all red. Yeah, yeah, you're like. She was, you know, in my experience and opinion, <laughs> I felt that I was treated really, really, really poorly by someone who did not want to be kind to me. And what I do is I tell those stories. Yeah. And they're my opinions and experiences. And I, and we've talked about this a thousand times, you know, where it's like, I've learned towards the end of this year, you know, the power that the canceled podcast holds. Yeah. But I really, in that moment was just talking to Brooke and treating it as like a bad Yelp (laughs) review. And then you just forget that millions of people are going to see that. And that NPC is going to pick it up. There was like, those were the craziest headlines, you know, and. I would definitely phrase things differently had I known the gravity that it. That How would you would have said up. it now? <laughs> Rephrase it. <laughs> but see, when you ask me that, I draw a blank. <laughs> like I feel like I ate. <laughs> so I'm serious. <laughs> um, personally. No, but I was pissed, Trisha. I know. Oh, I if know. I actually had to, th- we were just laughing at the the only photo I took that day was me, Paige, and Ty holding each other like a homecoming photo, and I'm in the photo going like this. Oh my god! I swear, no, I, like, you were just over it. If I had to look at like my maddest day of the year, I would put that as maybe number one. The worst day, like of the angriest I was this year in this like year. one day, wow. right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I was livid. What? I guess I don't know, and we can go past this quickly. But I guess I don't know what she did. That made you so upset. I, I didn't really get grasp the whole story. It would take me uh, the next hour to tell you the whole story. In and a I'm nutshell. down. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, but in a target. nutshell, it's just uh, my friend paid for us to go on an experience and we get there and the experience was not what we signed up for at all. And it was a very big excursion. You would have been fucking livid. Like, because like, because it's like, it's a wine. It's freezing cold. It's the crack of dawn. We're walking miles and yeah. miles and miles. We're supposed Me, to be. You know. uh, abs- and we're just stuck. There's tumbleweeds in the town. Like there's no cars where, you know, and it's, and then I like, I feel like I process things. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm really upset to be here, but it's, you know, I'm going to try to make it seem beautiful, even though it wasn't, it was pouring rain. Like it was, nothing was pretty. Like we were just like in the dirt walking for miles and miles. So I'm like putting in my headphones being like, I'm going to make this experience as, you know, plausible for me as I possibly can. I'm going to play some unreleased fucking music or some Olivia Rodrigo on my downloaded because there's no cell phone service and just walk and just get through it. And then she's like, can you take out your headphones? You're being so rude. Like she was just, she was talking to me horrible. Like the things she just like said to me, you know what I mean? Like, Oh what, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm, I work in social media where I'm from. People like us hate people like you. Like, Oh, that's so Just odd. to my face. And then we were stuck with her for like 12 hours. And mm. and then she went on for days to be texting my friend, like, hope she has fun in Italy. That There's a lot of stairs there. Is she going to be able to handle that? And like, there was a point where we were like, she wanted to take us. She asked us in the beginning too, is this going to be educational or a fun tour? What do you guys want? Mm-hmm. We all were like, fun. Yeah. And it's like 7 a.m. You know, I'm not a morning person too. Mm, we had no. to run to this train station, leave Airbnbs that morning. We went to bed at 4 a.m. I'm on no sleep. I'm so upset. I'm wildly just, it's just not what I want to be a part of it all. And we're like fun. And then she's making me take out my headphones to like educate me on the history of the grass in the city. And it's like, I've asked you so many times, like, I just want to drink wine. Maybe like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm really sorry. And it's like, if you want to do that and someone else is listening, that's awesome. But I'm now walking five miles in the freezing cold pouring rain and everything hurts and I'm exhausted. Like, I just want to hear music and you're being so mean to me. And yeah. So then there was one of the wine cellars was up like hundreds of stairs. I don't know the exact number, so I don't want to like say it. And I was like, I don't want anybody's wine bad enough to go on the Stairmaster for an hour right now to get to it, you know? I love and how then, you're scared to get canceled for saying the wrong number of stairs. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, I swear I to God, I swear to God, like, I, you know, I'm dramatic, so I'm trying to really okay. handle this well, but there was a point where I was like, I'm not going to go up that, you know? And then she's like mad at me. It felt like, in my opinion, like I try not to get sued as well. Um, in my like, opinion. I felt like that. And then the next day she's texting my friend, like, hope she has fun in Italy. Tell her there's a lot of stairs. Oh like she was God. just like, good thing you're like not fat. Cause that sounds like fat shaming. That's a little bit like if someone was, told me that I'd she like, called down to the wine cellar and she was like, I usually only do this for elderly people. And then oh calls God. down and it's like, I have someone who isn't able bodied. How can we help her? Like all this stuff. And I was like, I'm, oh I just don't want to do this Iron Man <laughs> that you pay for. I don't want to do this Iron Man in the middle of butt, butt. Um, and yeah, and uh, no, it still okay. makes me mad to talk about it to this day. I just, 
I say dramatic sentiments and the news really picked up on that. Right. And I probably should have not said a couple dramatic sentiments in my opinion. People However, I did it. They obviously know. I mean, that is like, obviously, you know, you don't want this person to like At all. not live anymore. I just hope I never see them again. Yeah. I tried to like fight her. Like I like had to walk away at one point. Oh like I wanted gosh. to get physical. Like I was like, she was yelling at me and like we were clapping in each other's like Oh, you were. Did anyone it film felt it? like in my opinion. Um, no. And we okay. should have. We got to get better at that. Jeff's so good at that. Like filming turmoil and then monetizing <laughs> like, it. Like, like I forget I have a phone. Like I see red when that's, I have like that. Wow. You know? Yeah. No, those kind of, that's a, that's a lot. I get that. Yeah. So that one, I mean, I'm with you on this one then. Um, I would say. Very canceled, unserious. but unserious. Yeah. But also dramatic. All of it. All three. I think it's not the worst. I don't think it's the worst. How about birthday gate drama with Brooke? Um, Unserious, dramatic, or fully canceled? <sighs> Oh, it's funny because all of these could like really hit all three. Both, yeah. Like, no, we handled it fully off camera. It came down to the internet's perception. Little did the internet know when they perceived it that I was getting her car. And I, I, I love Brooke. Yeah. That, so it, it, for, I'm not saying caring about her birthday is unserious, but like the internet's like perception of it to me, I was just like, who can, like they just don't know what's going on. Yeah, of course. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I love Brooke more than anyone on this planet and I, I want nothing but her to have a happy day every single day and for yeah. her to thrive and succeed. And I try to showcase that as much as possible and take care of her with every ounce of my heart and my baby oh, yeah. or whatever the fuck I need to do like anything just anything she but needs but I think she knows that she's like so grateful for you like when she was on here she's just like I like Tana. anything she needs I'm right there and I always yeah. will be and anything she wants I'm gonna go to the ends of the earth to make it happen so yeah. I guess I was kind of I don't read reddit so I really just I didn't see a lot of it that's and so I, good she we were reads on the phone it with, I'm like girl don't read reddit we were on the phone with the damn car dealership more than I could be on reddit you know oh and I was God. just like I, I just want my girl to be and happy for tomorrow and, too yeah and she had a great damn birthday and I mean that was ever is gift giving your love language your main one and words of affirmation. Like, I always really? want to build people, like, up. Yeah, you are you so know? good at that, too. Like, that's, like, how I try to show my love. Oh, my God, I, I love do that. like gift giving, though, because it's, like, I don't feel like... I'm sure you agree with this a lot. Like, I maybe, I'm assuming, because I like to think. But <laughs> I almost feel like you battle a lot with this life of, like, I don't fucking deserve this, mm -hmm. you know? So what... Definitely. What is it if you can't give it to everyone you love and everyone you thousand percent? And that's just like you know what I mean. I also feel like the more you give, the more you get. And I just like know that from the like attract that step in my life. Like, it's like that's why I love Christmas. I want to yeah. give everyone everything they mm -hmm. want. Like that feeling of giving someone a gift that they you know they'd I want. Like it's it's my favorite thing in the world. I'm usually bad at it, but sometimes I'm like good at it. But you being in the car, I told Oscar, I'm like, oh god, I'm a Taylor Swift sweater. I need to like step it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like shit. <laughs> I go really to the damn up. ends of the earth to get people gifts. Like I take it really it's seriously, amazing. even Christmas. I like have spent every night for the past week like online shopping, like wow. picking the perfect things. Paige, I got you so many little things. Aww. You're gonna die. Today you were even getting a gift for Amari as you were here. Like I just thought of something for him. Right now, Amazon two day prime. Let's go. Oh my god, like, it's amazing. Yeah. No, it's great. It's a, it's actually amazing. And none of the car giveaways are sponsored. No, I love that. No, I am trying no to think. Geek. <laughs> <laughs> no seat geek. No seat geek. I Every like, time. These, have these been on you the whole time? They're so cute. Oh, yeah. They're my Skims rabbits. Are they Skims? My feet don't fit into anything. Oh, like, I just want those so. for Christmas. Me talking about gift giving. I'm like, wait, but I want those. <laughs> what size shoe are you? I actually, I'm a nine, almost a nine and a half. Big was crazy. <laughs> oh Big was God, crazy. So, I Big mean, crazy. I, I became an eight after pregnancy, so I'll probably go up another size. I'll probably be a nine with you. And I can never get pregnant. I'm going to be a 12. They, <laughs> your feet do grow. It's actually crazy. My feet have been growing, too, as a, like a couple. Even I think these it's boots. normal. I bought these boots a year and a half ago, and they're a nine, and now they're like a little small. Really? Like I keep going I'm up. shocked. They don't Stop look laughing. Fake. <laughs> He's all like, "Your hinge date stalking you." Um, what is it? Unserious? Yeah, unserious, dramatic, or fully canceled? Completely unserious. What a freak. Is That's the, it. Is the stalker still around your uh, your other stalker? Yeah, but he, I, he's been at bay because I've had security on 10. You yeah, know? your security is crazy. So, but, And you have a boyfriend now, too, so maybe he'll, like, oh, keep yeah. a distance. I, that always happened oh, to me. God. When Moses would stay with me, and then when he would leave, somebody would, like, come around. Mm. And that's when it would be weird. So it's, like, mm. good you have him 24-7. Okay, feuding with the country of Britain after what? claiming... <laughs> about it.
I, Trisha, I'm actually not kidding. You might as well be reading someone else's headline to me. Okay, I don't remember this at all. Be, that could be I have never encountered a big British dick, if that helps anything, but um, <laughs> very unserious. You didn't say all British men have small. And honestly, dramatic on Oscar's behalf, <laughs> feuding with the whole country of Britain. What the Brought these two. Usually, I'm like, yeah, I have to be these. We love. <laughs> He's like, I can't be here today. I have to go. I'm like, wait, yeah. but these are like, like, I want to go back to London. Um, oh, I dubs apologizing to you. None of the above, and I none of the three weirdly okay. wholesome. Like it felt like a closure on a really long chaotic period, and it felt like just growth and uh, good. Did you feel like you had some like redemption? Um, I Validation. guess like I, we talked about this and I felt like it was something that like during that time would have made me feel so many of yeah. those emotions, but it's, it's so far gone. I genuinely, I was just happy to see that we'd both grown into people that we probably like more than the people we saw in the mirror at the time. Yeah. That's, yeah, I, th- I always think like if someone apologized to me that didn't be wrong, I would like probably cry. I'd be like, oh my God, it's yeah. the best day of my life. But I was just like, whoa, I thought it was a prank. And then I was like, no way. The growth. We love to see growth for everybody. Absolutely. Including IDAPs. I never knew much about that, but I, yeah. okay, getting canceled for, you don't have to answer this one if you don't want to, getting canceled for reuniting with James at Coachella. Did you get canceled for that? Did we reunite at Coachella? Oh, we did reunite at Coachella. Were people mad? I don't know. I, th- I think people were mad for sure. And I've, I've talked about it a million times. Oh, okay. Like. It's just like we, you know, the cookie crumbles the way the cookie crumbles and we have a lot of the same friends and I was seeing him every day and holding in that hostility and anger and what all those negative emotions weighs on you, especially when you see this person all the time Mm -hmm. and you see them and then your heart drops to your stomach and it, you know, you, you're worrying, can I go here? Cause this person's here and I don't want this drama and whatever. And all we are is civil, you know, like, and that's. I think that's what needed to happen in order to just grow and move on. You know, yeah. I'm not, we're not besties. We're not hanging out. We're not, you know, I'm not, we're not in each other's lives like that, you know, but we're unblocked. And if we see each other, you know, we see each other and we are, we're able to have small talk, like people. Keep it cordial. Yeah. Like it's people. hard when you have like the same friends too. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously I was never like, oh my God, everyone go be besties with them. Yeah. But I, the, the cookie crumbles away. The cookie crumbles. Do you get upset when people like judge you or cancel you for who you hang out with? Or you don't care. I, I just try not like you again. It's it's all boils down to no one understands that what everyone is viewing is ten percent of reality. Mm-hmm. Like they're like people continue to live their lives when that camera shuts off ninety percent of the time. So if people want to weigh in on that ten percent and assume it's the one hundred percent, then that's on them. Yeah, you know, people really don't know that kind of stuff. I feel, but yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. Yeah, I, I keep it cordial too because it's like I always have thoughts, but it's like I do know people that are friends with him too. And, and I'm just I like, used why to just be not? so problematic. Like I'd see people and at parties, and I'd be cussing, and I'd be talking and whatever. Like now, I just I want to walk into a room and just I've done this for ten years. I'm tired, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're I'm just- fucking tired. <laughs> like I just don't care. Like that's why you just got to go you know, to Hawaii with Adam Sandler and Makoa. Not kidding. Live your life. Know. And I have my core group of people and I have people that I get to work with that I also call really good friends. Very, very few on one hand. And those are the people that matter to me at the end of the day. And the rest of it's just this weird LA fucking cesspool that again, I'm fucking exhausted yeah, by. It like, is exhausting. And, and I just, yeah. People online can be exhausting. All I feel of like it can I really learned that this year. That was like one of my biggest takeaways. That's a big like, thing for know. 2023. Yeah. A big learning lesson. Mm-hmm. And now you're in love at the end of it. <laughs> Being accused of scamming the side men. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Um, I did that. <laughs> but you did it really because you explained it to um, me. Dramatic slash unserious. Okay. Yeah. You know, the story has been told a million times. Did you ever times. talk to them? Did you ever talk to like KSI? Yeah. Like what it did was, he say? They were just silly about it online. Like, okay. I, no one can act like billionaire KSI cares about an economy flight to London. You know what <laughs> oh, I mean? Oh, was it like, economy? Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, it was tie and economy. I definitely should have just said I want to bring my friend, but we thought it'd be a funny bit, and that it was. Like, did he ever do your makeup once? Um, he like <laughs> gave me a little. He gave me a little powder puff. I think if you do that once, it counts. Yeah, honestly, you know what I mean? It's his full time job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. And I needed him there for the like morale of the because filming course. those ten versus or twenty versus one videos are like an 18 hour shoot. There's no air conditioning. It's hot. You're interacting with all these strange oh people. It's a lot of things. I definitely needed my people there in order yeah. to give the side men what they needed in that video and the people, the content they deserve. Yeah. 
didn't have to say he was my makeup artist, but did it for the bit, and the bit was funny, and I love all the side What men. did you say he was your makeup artist? I love to lie, I just, just to lie, but... I'm not kidding it. That's what it was. It was like an Uber driver lie, yeah. and... Um, I've done that so many I times. knew it'd be a funny bit for the vlog that's going to come out in 2025. Um, Wait, but, what? No, I'm oh, just like, I I've vlogged it all, but oh. like, it's never going to come out. Like, I know, you never post your vlogs like here or anything. I'm like, I have a thing? thousand on my phone. I just, everything else takes up all my time, but... Yeah, uh, we we thought that they wouldn't get the flight unless it was like someone working for me, <laughs> and like in reality, they're billionaires. Like they would have, and yeah. it's just yeah. But then they were silly about it. I think it just made for great content, and everyone's I, good. You were just so many headlines this year, and that one oh I thought was God. so funny. I love a pot stir for great content, so long as it's lighthearted like that. I mean, the fact that people just like want to use you for like clicks and views and titles, it's everything. And well, that's too. So they're good. huge. The side men, you know. But that's what, no. But you really are the star of everything you do. Like the side men are huge, but then you'll be like doing drug or stuff. Like you'll be doing this. You'll be doing just you'll just do everything. I love FM, it. Whitney, you're just everywhere for I've everyone. Got another, I've got another year and a half of it, and then I'll be underwater. Yeah, forever in Hawaii. Wait, not, not unalive, just uh, just uh, swimming. Is that what they call it in Hawaii? Like you're underwater? I just say that. I'm like, oh, okay. I need to <laughs> off and go be underwater. I know for sure. If we would. Yeah. I play the lottery all the time, and I always think if we win the lottery, I would like buy a house in Maui for sure. If they want me, I don't know. Maybe they don't like when people can move there, like Oprah and stuff, right? They like don't like when there's this whole like conspiracy theory too that like. Because a lot of the houses around hers are gone now, and they like <gasps> the billionaires right. wanted to like set the fire allegedly conglomerate the island more so, oh like it not be. I don't know. My Hawaiian friends are telling me this. I don't know shit. I, 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 I agree. Sometimes I'm like, maybe we should go to Maui because I feel like Maui people don't want us there, which I get. Like I don't want to go ruin their land, but I guess like tourists too. I'm like such a tourist. I spend all my money there, so I don't know. Yeah, I just really try to like <coughs> when I'm in Hawaii, like live. Because again, my best friends are like yeah. local, so they tell me like. How, how to, to be respectful of the island yeah. and, like, what to do and, like, you know what I mean? Treat it. And it, just the way that people are there is so beautiful to me. Like, they eat off the land and they, like, love uh, the – like, no one litters. Like, every – it's just, like, gorgeous. So and they, clean. People keep it. They take care of mm-hmm. it. And I think it's beautiful. We like, lack that here in L.A. Yeah. Bryce Hall saying he only slept with you for clout. <laughs> Uh, we actually just kind of made up. I heard this on canceled. Yeah. yeah, like we had a nice talk and we're cordial. I saw the TikTok, the juxtaposition between him telling the story versus you telling the story. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. So Is he it tells it. Fucking <laughs> nuts. Is, am I gonna be re? No, no, honestly, you come out looking really good. The way he tells it's a little more like arrogant, a little more smug. Like I just went up to him, I'm like, hey. And like they were like, <gasps> like they, the way he tells it's just different as opposed to you guys being like, it was cool. You know what's nice. funny is there's probably 50% truth in both. No, you know, for like sure. that's yeah. it. You know, well, there's, but, there's but three sides to every story. reality. The way you perceive it is yeah. what's really happened. Yeah. So maybe he thought that. Like I just went up to him, like, hey guys. And they're like, <gasps> But yeah. like, you know, you were like, oh, oh my God, I need to I watch that to- in the car and decide if I'm re pissed. Um, <laughs> no, it's not bad. It wasn't bad. Um, unserious. Unserious. You didn't uh, care? Dramatic, kind of, because I did care. I was like, ouch. Did it know. hurt? It hurt my feelings. I cried to Bryce when we just made up. I was like, I've never had someone that Oof. I really cared about kind of hurt my feelings like that. You know? I think and also this- someone like you sleep with, even if it's casual. Like, and It was not, so long like- ago. It had nothing to do with us ever, ever touching oh. each other. It was more so like, it was the mutual of it all. Like him saying we weren't friends that hurt my feelings. Because yeah. I felt like I really tried to be a great friend to Bryce, you know? And why did he say? Did he tell you ever tell you why he said you guys weren't friends? I think he was like mad at me. It's so yeah, unserious for the most part, okay. a bit dramatic. But again, perception is reality. Maybe that, like yeah. in my head, maybe the perception exactly. is different. Exactly. And now it's just like I just You're feel cool. too old for that shit. Like that's How old is he? again. He's I I don't know. I think a year younger than me. Oh, maybe. you guys are all like the same age. Yeah, but like that was a that was a big catalyst of that learning lesson for me this year of like you know all this LA bullshit and you know you like, have so many good learning yeah. lessons this year I love that I, really I love do. the growth of 25 I feel like 25 is such a good year yeah it's when your brain like fully develops I, and I, always, I like felt it this I year I always said that too I'm like you should probably like wait date marry all this stuff to like the person's 25 at yeah. least like seriously but yeah. you also like lived so much life so I think your brain you know but just... I really like felt my wheels turning this really? year like so the you learning felt lessons it. yeah and you get to see it too I I've feel learned... like that's why I've always like now connected with you this year I'm just like oh my god Tana's so cool I could talk to her for literally hours I can literally. Hang out. like going out to dinners with you I was just like oh like they're yeah. literally so cool it doesn't feel like such an age gap. everything that has happened I felt like clicked this year mm-hmm. I've learned more this year than I've learned in my entire life you know oh my god and now you found love and I feel like when you like heal yourself <laughs> you find love it's so cute you know what I mean like you're healed so. you learned and now love found you I definitely hope so oh my god I love it I love your smile oh my god the way that you're just like 
so good. Life is good. Life is good. I love that for you. you I know? feel like we're Drew Barrymore. Do you ever see her like hold hands? Yeah, Have you she seen always the clips? Does that. Did you see the one with Oprah? She's just like, like so yes. I mean, Oprah's like trying to get away from her. And she's just like, what did it feel like when you did this? And I was just like, oh my God. Like, that would you be wild. You need to go on the damn Drew Barrymore show. Oh, absolutely not. That would freak me out if someone tried to hold my hand so much. I don't mind like a little hand hold like yeah, this, like, but well, she like, holds, she'll like be like this. She'll be like so. She's just like yeah, on it. And yeah. I'm just like, okay. A little yeah. too much. But I can't be touchy unless I like know you and love you. Like over, you know, like over time. I feel like you would do good with her. Like you're that touchy yeah. person. But I could do it. Feuding with Mads Lewis for switching up. Completely unserious. We're also cool now. I swear she to God. She was at your Halloween party? Um, she was at my Halloween party. I just okay. saw her the other night. What is she known for? I don't know. <laughs> I had to like look it up and I was like, wait, what did she do? No TikTok. shame. TikTok. Okay, see, I don't know many TikTok. I'm trying now. I'm trying to know the TikTokers. TikTokers. She's a sweet girl. I think we both are kind of similar. Like, it was just like a stupid feud that got really misconstrued. I, you know. She said that you, I just looked this up today, that you. That I switch up on people. And then, and you're like, Mads, respectfully, you don't know me. Yeah, and I've had the same friends for 10 years, you know. And then we talked it out. That and is I, wild. And <laughs> it's. You're so loyal. Absolutely. I don't, you know, I have my LA friends. And then I kind of dissortated that on the podcast. The difference of, like, party circle friends and the difference of, like, real friendships. Right. and. You know, whatever. Um, but it was, we just made up and she, I took this photo in like probably 2016. I don't even think I was 18 yet. Well, at my first VidCon ever by this wall. And this is when I like wasn't a feature creator, wasn't invited to VidCon at all. And they, they had written all, like it was all the fans were like signing the, like this wall and writing their favorite creators and whatever. And someone had written Tana Mojo across the entire wall. And this was like, I, I don't even think I had a million subscribers at oh, the time. Wow. This was like, I'm serious. I was a baby. And I took a photo by the wall because I was like, this is crazy. I'd wanted to go to VidCon my whole life. Like this is so crazy that anyone in this room even supports me or knows me or whatever. And she told me when we made up that she wrote that. And it was like Aww. so, and she's like a super fan. And then just somehow through the grapevine, a bunch of like drama happened and whatever. And it was like we're we're way more similar than we are different. Mm-hmm. And you know, I see myself and you. We react and we say some crazy shit sometimes, and like whatever. And like, yeah. it's so much easier to be friends than hold any negativity, especially in. when they're young. She's a little younger than yeah. you. She's like, yeah, her, yeah. So and it was just like silly BFFs podcast, internet canceled, just shit. You know, the BFFs and, podcast. They start all that drama. They stir it up. <laughs> Don't get me involved in but that. Dave, Dave Portnoy, Portnoy I love you. He's like, I believe Tan in this. He's on your side. Dave Portnoy, I love you. I don't even know. I I, I should probably go back and watch. But yeah, love Well, he Mads broke and- up with Savannah, so we're not on his side anymore. It's Silvana. Silvana. <laughs> what did I, say? <laughs> I love her. What did I say, Savannah? <laughs> No, I love it's like Silvana. Sylves or something yeah. on TikTok. So I, I didn't no, know. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was low hanging for know. a joke. I love Silvana. I do. And I love her too. Yeah. And I feel like I can't. I don't. I can't be on Team David. Anymore. I respect. You know. No, for sure. If I you agree. don't want that shit, you know, like sure. to end it and be honest and then yeah. let her go live her life and totally agree with that. It seems like an amicable breakup, and I just you know yeah, I, I wish happiness just... for all. I'm in my peacekeeping era. I know. Same. 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 Yeah. I love it. She was at. She was at. What is it? At Art Basel. Yeah. Have you been? I've been, but it's... Mm. It's like rich people. It's like, but it's Miami, so it's nuts. I've like the amount Miami. of drugs and shit. You don't need to go to Miami. Miami sounds wild. I just know, I think of like Scarface or something when I think of Miami. Miami's the most wild place I've ever been. Mm. I can't, during the pandemic, I almost moved there and I look back and I'm like, Tana, you would have died. Oh my God. Especially because I'm from Vegas. Like Miami is like what other people think about Vegas is like what I think about Miami. Like it's my Vegas. Oh, right, Like right, it's right, like, get yeah. out of there. But- like... <laughs> Wait, get out of there. Why? Like, every time I go there, I, I have to get on a flight home immediately. Because it's just too wild. It's, yeah, everyone's naked and f***ing and doing drugs what? and on boats and underwater and partying till 7 a.m. And it's just, it's a place. Maybe that's, like, your Miami. I feel like not everyone has that experience there. I feel like you're just that's in that That's probably true. Group. Some people probably sit on the beach. Literally. I feel like there's, like, old people at tan and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, like, that'd that. be sick. Don't <laughs> know where. <laughs> yours sounds fun. I would do yours. Don't, you wouldn't want to. Um, <laughs> birthday trip drama with Ashley. Ooh. Um, dramatic. I don't see any cancellation there. I love Ashley. I would die for her. Like, okay. she's my roommate. She's my best friend. We're, we were never not friends. Who started the drama? How did it start? It started, I think, because... Tequila. <laughs> yeah, Tequila actually did, did start the drama. Did someone say something first? Like, were you on the podcast? Did she make a video? I think it, like, people started, like, well, what went down in Turks was Armageddon. That would probably be my second most insane. It was a... All 12 of us were very much seriously fighting and there was a lot of misconstrued shit and on your birthday yeah uh, and they would just you know I was hurt and she was her everyone was hurt like it was just a mess you know and then I I don't know exactly how the news got broke like it just like I know in our friend group like people started commenting on shit and then like reddit saw it put all the pieces together and then it like just went insane mm. and then I went on the podcast and I was like I never wanted this to be 
what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Cause that's my sister. And it, you know, and like neither of us give a fuck about a too hot to handle man. You oh, know? is that who it was? Yeah. Like it's just like, it was just the Wait, dumbest. do people know that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How many too hot to handle people do you know? All probably. Oh, okay. It's I'm like, bad. Wow. I saw, you know, you know how you and Moses just did the TikTok trend where it's like, I'm Trisha Paytas' husband. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, the two ought to handle people just did a TikTok like that. And they were like, we were on two ought to handle. And they're like saying a bunch oh, of yeah. shit. And one of them was like, we were on two ought to handle. If Tana Mojo invites us to her house, we're going to oh, go. My God, like, so, my, which, who said that? Which ones? The new season. Oh, nothing. Okay, okay. I love that. <laughs> love Harry Stan, Harry Stan. Uh, Wait, was Harry know, the guy? No. No, no, no. Love Who, Harry. Do you want to bleep um, the name? His, no, his it? name's Joey Joy. Um, Joey Joy? Yeah, and he was on, I think, the same season as Harry, and we kind of had a little thing, and then we became, like, friends over time. And Is he hot? Who's cuter, him or Harry? Harry's know. definitely hotter. Oh, but I never hooked Harry. up with Harry, so, I mean, He's I wouldn't British. know. He's oh, British. Right, so you wouldn't know if he has. Yeah. I don't what know what's going on there. That's my bro. But, um, okay. yeah, I mean, it, she, you just can't expect a, a hot, dumb, too hot to handle boy to not be a, <laughs> a player boy and like yeah you know he was on the trip with you guys yeah he came Mm. um he lives in miami so it's like an hour flight and he came and that was what normally would have been a great decision but for that trip it it was the worst decision ever just because like you weren't over him or something no not that that he just wanted to be fucking and shit just went down you know this is why i don't have friends or hot friends for that matter because it's like you know i always think that's like your but but you don't care i love ashley so much and it it was never about like the feelings for joey it was about shit just getting misconstrued down the grapevine but we worked it all off camera and we're i'm not kidding the the week after i uploaded the podcast we were good like we talked it out you guys live together right yeah you amari and her yeah i woke up this morning it was like playing with her and her dog having breakfast like she's so like low-key though right she doesn't really like she's not too much out there i feel like she doesn't like like the podcast and the drama of it all like she's a very anxious really? person so like it's you know she'll make her like little health and wellness tiktoks and shit and like do her thing and shoot and she does yeah. of and she makes great money but oh yeah she probably makes so yeah. good in there but like she just you know she's always like i don't know how the fuck you do this shit like it's so stressful like secondhand for you do I you have feel stress. stressed when you do it like drama and i'm just so used to it 10 years you right. know like i'm able to just compartmentalize like emotion now i guess so you can't like, like when you guys did the matt rife episode obviously that was more like brooke stuff but you don't feel like anxious I was a little anxious about that one because that was a little crazy. Yeah, you were like so upset about it. I mean, that was good though. I felt I was so proud of her. I'm glad everyone was on her side. Because like, I've been wanting that to happen forever. Yeah. Like I've always known off camera, but like when, you know, if you were mad at someone and we came on this podcast and you were like, I don't want to talk about it. I want to keep it cool. I'm going to yeah. keep it cool for you. Yeah. You know, but off camera, I'm going to be like, that motherfucker. That's so crazy. So when she was down to finally do it. I was like, I've been waiting for yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, like, let's go, let's, let's get go. it, yeah. Yeah, and no. she, like, withheld a couple things and was like, I'll just tell you, like, I just found this out last night, I'll just tell you on the podcast, like, tomorrow, you know, wow. and, yeah, my reaction was very much so visceral in life. That's and, so yeah. crazy, yeah, I know, I remember when that podcast happened with him, and I was just like, this feels off, like, it just felt off, and I was like, you this is so just, weird. If you go back and watch, you can just tell me, I'm like, I'm so fucking over it. No, like, but you hey, were so funny, nah. your clip went viral with him, the, like, <laughs> when he's yeah. like, everyone's jealous, it's a hater. Yeah, like, like you think everyone is jealous of Hillary? Yeah, like the, exactly. <laughs> like let's talk about it. No. You are so good. You're so smart and, and so quick. Coming on canceled and pretending like you don't know Brooke when I know you know Brooke. Like That's I was just sitting so, there with you, like he knew you knew. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Like I'd been around. I'm her best friend. We just so gone weird. to like his comedy show a month ago. He invited her. They were oh. kissing in the crowd. Like you know, so it's like weird. so. I'm just sitting there like, oh yeah. Is it nice to meet us? Like you know, it's just it, yeah. I he was, was off beyond over it. Now he's canceled. That was comes to one of our fan questions. We have fan questions. I put fan questions and they literally said, where do you think? Fan, that's, that's what cute. Fan that's, questions. Yeah. You guys are so cute. <laughs> Wait, did you use that before? I don't think I ever have. Oh, okay. You should. It's so I cute. Should. Tana goes with everything, like Tana Biss, like everything. Yeah. It's just like Tana Ween. I love you. They said, where do you think Matt Rife will be next year? This is a fan question from our patrons. <sighs> that's a great question. You have smart viewers. <laughs> I've always said that. Um, <laughs> I think that cancellations like his go one of two ways. Yeah, let's hear it. And they skyrocket you to the moon and you supersede it or you fall off the face of the planet. Slop. I don't think that he could supersede this. this but is I not... even look back to like TanaCon and I thought my whole life was over. And then but it, that's it was... so different. You're like this 19-year-old girl who is kind of like – I appreciate your empathy for it, but I – I can also, out of context, be like, that was almost worse. It was like a live public event. Like You weren't saying, like, I hate all these little kids coming to my TanaCon. You guys are so pathetic that you spent money on that, my thing. Okay, you know okay, what I mean? She ate, she ate. No crumbs left. <laughs> I feel like it's different. Yeah. It's a poorly organized event that you didn't intend to happen versus someone being like, I hate these people. And you I, know. I just hope if it goes to the ladder of him superseding to the moon that he somehow 
I'll write his jokes. Like, someone needs to make That's you funnier. That's what I'm saying. I think he doesn't have the talent <laughs> to back it up. Do you know what I mean? If, like, someone yeah. was really funny, like, Louis C.K., he's told, like, really gross jokes. And I feel like he's, but he's funny. So yeah. he can get away with it. Dave Chappelle. For sure. Matt is just so unfunny. Yeah. And just on top of everything else. And also dumb. Did you hear him with Penn Badgley? Like, talking about astrology. And Penn was, like, um, trying to be, like, sympathetic to him. It's, like, a clip going viral now. And he's just so – doesn't comprehend what people are saying. Like, he literally doesn't have much in his head. And I'm like, oh, well, he's actually just a little – I also just think, like, the hypocrisy of it all. Like, telling everyone take a joke, but then you can't take a joke is, like, just so crazy. You have to be on one the one team or the other in <laughs> Brooke that. sending him the helmets back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there you sex. go. He's like, this is MR. It's like, yeah. helmet. Yeah. Here's your fucking helmet. It's like, if you want to – you know, I and Ugh. I've always had a really big discrepancy in life of people who – can't take the heat but stand by the fire. Like, yeah. if you're going to talk your shit, back it up, no, you know? No, for sure that. And, you know, like, him, like, beefing with Bunny Barbie's child <laughs> being like, Santa isn't real. Like, you're clearly hurt. That, like, was, that was so random. That's the, like, you just can't be clear like the ego of it all texting Brooke like this is MR like abbreviating your own name like <laughs> yeah. the ego is it's all just so embarrassing the plastic to surgeon me. comment and then deleting it it's like okay yeah like, exactly yeah. like you know like you've made jokes about everyone under the sun and then a plastic surgeon wants to make a joke about you and then you're gonna go like legal on them in yeah. the comments you're embarrassing <laughs> like double down be like thanks for the jawline bro like right right like it's just like if was- you're gonna supersede to the moon on that and die on that hill yeah die on that hill right and like, he just can't. Which yeah, is like, I think that that's why I think he'll just flop. Like you said, the, the I would genuinely wish I could go inside of his body and wear it like a skin suit and navigate this cancellation <laughs> like an intelligent person. He can't. Like and a I, funny that's what person. I'm saying. I think he actually like lacks intelligence. Watching him with Penn Badgley, I was like, oh, he's not comprehending anything. Because Penn was being really nice. He's like, oh, but this is the reason why astrology would work. And he's just like, it's so far. And I was like, are you just like not comprehending Sexy anything? Penn Badgley. I do love him. I know he would hate me. Yeah, you but were gonna, no, I don't think he'd hate you. I mean, I don't know him. I don't know. You should go um, on his podcast. Remember, you were going to name your kid Paper Me and Penn? I still want to. If there's twins, pe- paper and pen. I'm keeping it. I love the name pen. Um, another question from our patrons. Uh, is Malibu going to be the flower girl at Hawaii's wedding? Absolutely. Can she walk down the aisle with her little... <laughs> That I just the way do you see the excitement that I actually just got filled with? Like I wasn't expecting that. Like I swear to God, I would do anything. That is my flower girl. She's my everyday flower girl. Are you actually kidding? We have flowers here and there. Stop! Imagine Malibu Barbie as a flower girl. Would be everything. Are you actually kidding? She'd be literally running to you. I'm like, oh my god, because she always runs to you. Yeah, it would work. She would love, or like, yeah, that'd be. If you ever need a fill-in godparent for this one, that one, I'm right there, baby. And And I give good Christmas gifts. My, I have a goddaughter actually. My hair girls. Do my hair girl's daughter is my goddaughter, and she's like, she's like nine, ten now, I think. And I've known her since she was like six, you know. And so every Christmas I go all out for her. Like last Christmas I got her flat screen and an iPad, like whole oh night. No, I go, and she's nine. I don't <laughs> nine need to do all that. Old. And I look at her the other day and I was like, "What do you want from for Christmas?" And she goes, "From Santa Claus or Tana Claus?" And I was oh like, "Oh my, <gasps> Tana Claus is so good. <laughs> That's so good." And I was like, "Tana Claus, what do you want?" <laughs> Do you want an AirPod Maxes though? So I got out this year without breaking the bank too. Oh hard. yeah, that's not bad. I love yeah. when they just want like a little cheap thing. Yeah, like here's your, you know, AirPod Maxes are still like it's a great gift oh and they're expensive. Gosh. But I was like, thank God you don't want a flat screen and an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she, she asked for it the year before? I just well, kind of. She wanted a flat screen and then I got her the flat screen and she was at my house um, while Kim was doing my hair and she was like, "Did you get me a flat screen?" And I was like, "Now she knows. Now I have to get her an How iPad." Did you carry like, it? No, no, no. It was hidden. Like it was like a week, like weeks before. In the ha- like in their she house. Just, like she no, she was in my house. Oh. But she just asked. Like she was just like, Did you get me a flat my screen? God. I was like, How do you know this? You're nine. And you now can be I have the to- godparents to all our babies. Absolutely. And then I had to angrily go to Best Buy and, you know, spoil the damn oh girl side. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're such oh my God, you are Tana Claus. I love I it. Am. Um now that one more question from our patrons. Uh there's a lot, but let's just do worst famous person you met. I'm like Matt Rife. No, um <laughs> I mean, maybe, right? I used to always jokingly say Tyra Banks as a joke because I met her when I was, like, really young and she just had no idea who I was. But, like, it doesn't even count. Like, no. Like, what happened? She's just, like, she just wasn't, like, as friendly as you thought. She just didn't know who I was and I thought it was going to be this, like, this was still when I didn't understand the world of fame. I was really young. Like, I, I yeah. thought it was going to be this whole moment. Like, it wasn't. Dumb. Well, I was on her show and she didn't know who I was and I was, like, literally a guest like this. Yeah. And she, like, literally didn't know my name and she thought, like, my sister was my daughter. She was very confused. Oh, everything. yeah. We talked yeah. about that, I think. But, um, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, in my opinion, g Easy with no context. Why no the context? Didn't you have a story time about him? Did you delete it? 
What else did the patrons ask? Okay. <laughs> You're like, next. Where is g Easy? Remember when he was trying to kiss Britney on the VMA stage and I'm just like, that's awkward. Wait, Britney really? was like, you don't remember that? Britney they were Spears? doing Make Me. Don't you remember the song that Make Me? Ooh. And g Easy had like a verse and he kept like trying to kiss her and she was just like constantly doing yeah, this. No like, way. You never see that? It's like if you Google it, like g Easy trying to kiss Britney, it's like super. Stop. I know what I'm doing in the car. <laughs> Giggling at she that. She was just so not in, not having it at all. Yeah. Um, how's your tooth? It's back in. Okay, so what happens? I, yeah. Like, <laughs> I want to know too. I mean, they're so expensive, right? So, like, yeah. does it not stay in? But I also got influencer pop tag veneers. Like, I didn't pay. I pop tagged for them. You think they, like, cheapened a little bit the way they installed them? Maybe, yeah. I think, I, I mean, I never went to the dentist growing up at all. So when I finally got money, that was like the first thing that I did. So by the time I'd gotten to the dentist, I understand that my starting foundation was like not a good one. I needed like 10 root mm-hmm. canals and like they had to file my teeth down a lot more than they would other people. I also come to find out I'm allergic to lidocaine, so I don't get numb. So I'm like in pain and I move around oh. like a bunch and uh, that's a whole thing. And then they put in the first set, they find out I'm allergic to porcelain. So then I'm allergic to the actual material that, that my teeth are made of and you can't go back and fix it. You what know, does that mean you're allergic to it? What happens? It falls out, I guess, or it breaks easier. Oh, it see, doesn't like it doesn't bond hold. as well. Like your gums are rejecting it, you know? Oh, cause um, how many times have you lost a tooth? Four. In how many years? Four. Four probably as well. Five maybe. I, but maybe the other more. ones, I, I said this on cancel, but the other ones were more warranted. Like I didn't, I hadn't learned yet. Right. And I didn't know I couldn't just like hard bite into shit. Like I didn't like understand that I would have to navigate very gently with these teeth for the mm-hmm. rest of my life. Like no hard ciabatta bread. We're not biting into nerds ropes. We're not. Oh, that's so sad though. I bit a dollar bill in the uh, in the strip club one time and my <laughs> tooth came out in Miami and I was super gluing it in for a week. Like you can't do any of that, Tana. But this one came out and I was just simply talking. I had just landed in Hawaii. I was no. just talking to her. I was, like, <gasps> I was like, I'm so excited to be here and my tooth falls out. And we're Wait, in Hawaii? Yeah. This, ha- yeah, yeah, yeah. The video was not when it fell out. It fell out in Hawaii. Um, oh my and God. it falls out and we're on the North shore. All the dentist office are two and a half hours away. It's like 11 PM. Like you can't even get super glue there, you know? So I'm sobbing to my boyfriend. I'm like so sad. Cause I'm like, babe, I swear to God, I don't always have a broken toe or a missing tooth. Oh my God. We, but that shows love. He's just like, it's fine. I love you anyways. Yeah, it was sweet. He like just talked me off a ledge for like five hours, but, um, and he wasn't, he didn't say anything about it. He wasn't like, Ooh. No, like he was just like, I, like I, I was just crying. Why is this happening? I came here for a week off. Like this is so annoying. Oh. I have to go to the dentist. And he's like, I know, baby. I know. Let it out. Like, they like, be upset, but we're going to handle this. Yeah. You know, like very calm and amazing. Um, And then Gabe Makoa found me super glue. So I glued it in all week in Hawaii and I was just jumping in the ocean, whatever. I came home, got it put back in. It was super painful. Oh. It fell out the night before I was going to get it put back in on video. That's, like, what I posted that oh everyone my saw. God. Wait, so and you said super glued? You super glued it back in? Yeah, which was my dentist's advice, which I don't necessarily. Super glue? How- super glue. So yeah. you just had a super glue tooth in Hawaii the whole time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I love that you just show it online. You just, like, don't care at all. Because it's like you can't make this shit up if you tried. I would do the same like, thing. Like, it, this is just, wild. I've always said that I have, I think that overall I have really great luck. Like with my life and my friends mm-hmm. and my family and my career and whatever, but s- circumstantially, I will always have it, like anecdotal small bad luck. Yeah. Like something bad. Like if I'm gonna travel somewhere, I'm gonna lose the bag. Like my tooth's gonna fall out the second I land on like a happy trip. Like I'm gonna st- break my toe. I'm gonna, I'm always gonna have like shit like that go down. And I think it's the price I pay for the life that I get to live. Right, right, and right. You have the, the little bits here and yeah, there. Yeah, just very much, of course, yeah. that would f- happen to me. Yeah. So they put it back in and we'll see how long it lasts. Oh my God, that's crazy. And you can never go back. Right? At all. They're the size of Tic Tacs. Like, we're, I'm forever for sure. But I think that's um, so good you show that part of it because so many people who either can't afford veneers or scared to get veneers, at least they feel a little bit better about themselves. I, I feel bad about myself that I don't have them because everyone has such beautiful teeth. I'm like, I, I should tell, get them. No, you have beautiful teeth. And I tell everyone always, like, someone, anytime anyone is like, I want to get veneers, I'm like, do not do it. Like, I'm, really? like, I'm such an advocate for like, but the problem with me is I think if I went back in time every time I'd get them just yeah. because I could, I like, like Paige is doing Invisalign right now, and she's so good at changing the trays. And, really? And your teeth are so nice. It, they look amazing. Yeah. And it's like I was just so young at the time that I would do the Invisalign and be so painful, and I'd get hot Cheetos in my trays, and it was just gross. <laughs> and like, You're like I, I couldn't have braces because of what I was doing. Like I, I, I will always choose like a quick fix. I think. And yeah. So I, I don't think I think this is my. This is my story. You right, know, this right. is my trajectory. <laughs> but if you hate small imperfections of your teeth, do everything to fix them before you 
go balls to the wall. Yeah, maybe you had some like trauma because you didn't go to like a dentist growing up and like your parents didn't take you. And I just wanted it over with. Yeah, you're like, like, just give me perfect teeth. And they are. Like when I see your teeth, I'm like, oh my God, they're so amazing. They're so sweet. I feel like this one's like looser, lower. Really? It looks amazing. And they're so white. They just stay white. I think I'm going to, they do stay white. I am going to, I think I might, you might see me in the future getting a whole new set from a whole new dentist. Really? And it'll be my fourth set. So that's awesome. From a new new dentist, fourth dentist. Yeah. No, a second dentist. Oh, okay, I've been okay. going to the same one, but oh, maybe yeah, maybe it's time to switch it up if you keep losing teeth. Yeah, it's like a, it's like when you don't like your acrylic nails and you go to a different. Oh, nail mine tech. are with my boobs. I've had two boob jobs and I'm like, Ugh, another one, please, yeah. because none of them have been working. They're all botched. Oh, stop. It. Yeah, no, they totally are. It's, but I get I've it. seen your tits. I don't think they're botched. Oh, they are botched. I think that's why people like my OF. I'm like the one person who's like botched and like stitched and scarred. You're they're insane. just all scarred up everywhere. What did you say? Chicken fingers and lipo. It's chicken camp. fingers and lipo. It's I need camp. another lipo. I need all that. Oh my God. After this. Baby. You know what's funny is we talked about me almost getting a BBL. We're I, like know, I love it. I, you're we so warm. About, am I? Oh my gosh, are you okay? I've been holding my pee for an hour, so maybe that's why. Do you want to go pee real quick? We can, and then we can wrap it up. I'm like really like weirdly that. talented at holding my pee. Are you? Have sure? you seen that scene in Euphoria where Zendaya like holds her pee until she's like in pain? It's like a, it's like a depressive tendency. Wait, like why? You like can't go do it. I don't know what it is. Like I will hold my pee every time for hours. Like, oh really? Because yeah. what's the depressive tendency though? It's like you want to be in pain. You want to no. Like I think it's like how depression kind of can translate into what people would say is laziness, but it's not. Okay. It's like you physically can't get up to like go brush your teeth, or you physically can't get up to go pee. Like I will just be stuck. Oh, until... that's so interesting. Have you ever talked to like a therapist about it? Why you do that? And I have ADHD, I guess, where it's like a permanence. Like if you're sitting mm. somewhere, you don't want to get up until you absolutely force yourself to. Like I th- so I think the combination of the two always just makes me hold my pee. I don't. You know. Have you had a catheter in you? No, but do you know They're what I was great. just going to say to you is that we were talking on the last episode, I think, about how I was going to get my BBL and yeah. how I wanted oh, yeah. one. And I was scared of the catheter and whatever. I'd probably oh, love it if right. we're talking about that. It's great. But the other day I had this like come to where I was like, had I gone and got the BBL, I would have never met Makoa because I would have been in recovery at home. Aww. And I'm really happy that I didn't Everything do it, Everything happens Trish. for a reason. And now you probably won't want to because then you have to recover for six weeks. You can't have sex for six weeks. It's yeah. like the worst. Well, like, and yeah. just, like, I think it's awesome to be with someone who doesn't want to change anything about oh, you yeah. and when someone you... loves you as you it's just the best feeling in the whole yeah. world you're like oh I don't need to change that's how I feel with like dieting I'm like well he loves me and we have sex and that's fine like I don't <laughs> need to be skinny you know what I mean you look amazing and it, but it is like it's such a healing feeling it's for someone so I know I tell him I'm gonna be on that because like no he like refuses he's like then we can't like enjoy food together and I was like oh, I want to be skinny but we do love food and he's such a good cook so I'm just like oh, I know that would be like Absolutely. the worst but no you're living life um, okay 2024 where what's your okay so you're going on tour you obviously have like a pretty dream life you're going in with a boyfriend like what would be your most ideal like ending this time next year in 2024 I hope I take all the lessons I learned from this year and really apply them next year and don't get me wrong I think I'll always be working hard but I think I've spent the last 10 years really just go 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 grind 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 and I hope I can find a really healthy balance between peace and doing what I enjoy and maybe hopefully a little more of saying no and not doing absolutely everything and being able to fully enjoy the things I want to enjoy and yeah. And I don't know. Not take so much. I time. hope we shoot a damn series. I hope tour goes well. That's I, so much. You're like, I'm gonna I say no write, to things. I wanna finish writing my book really <gasps> bad. And that's Do you have a book deal or are you gonna just write it? I'm gonna write it and then go summon my managers for one. You oh, know, so you're gonna hope. write it first. Because you know a lot of I've been writing it. Book t- by yeah. yourself or do you have like someone helping you? No, I don't want any help. I feel like the shit that goes on up here and the shit that's happened, no, no one can help me write, you know, so. <gasps> I think you'd be the first YouTuber ever to not, not have a ghostwriter. I think it's so embarrassing. It is crazy. It's it such is... a cash grab. Right. I mean, that's don't what it is. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, like, if these children TikToker have a, TikTokers have a ghostwriter write them, like, a children's style book where it's, like, follow your dreams and, like, whatever, like, that's fine. Get your fucking bag. Did someone but have when, that? I was thinking about Charlie D'Amelio's book. I was wondering if Does she, she have a kid's that. book? She has a book that's, like, definitely for, like, her younger viewers. Oh. And I, like, fully support that. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome, okay. you know? But, like, you know, like, these YouTubers, like, having someone else write their life story to me is so mind-boggling. It is crazy. And so many people did. You remember that, like, rush where they all were doing book deals? And, like, mm. they all had the same ghostwriters. Shane and... kind of wrote his, right, or no? I think he wrote his 100%, yeah. yeah. Well, he's a and, writer, you know? And he obviously was, like, my first big inspiration in this career. And I, I remember thinking, like, I will never have a ghostwriter because of this human like back in the day yeah. and he was he is talented yeah I hope sure. I finish writing it but I don't know if it'll be out is it like I your mean, life story yeah and I'm kind of doing ch- like chapters the way we discuss like every chapter of my life will be a chapter you oh, know are and, you gonna start as an influencer as your life or from the beginning I think the beginning but oh I also gosh. have like dedicated a lot of chapters to people and how they've changed my life like I'm sure I'll have like 
a chapter about you or pages about you, like, and just how big is your book? Know. I feel like you have so many chapters. That's the terrifying thing too. Is that, and that's the whole thing, trying to figure it out. Like, do I split it up into multiple books? Like the Hunger Games, <laughs> right? That's what my life feels like. Just a big ass Hunger Games trilogy. So it could work. Who, Who would play you oh in God. your movie? You right hopefully. Now. <laughs> Me at fifty. No, shut <laughs> when the movie up. Gets made. Jennifer Coolidge. I don't you know, <laughs> no, it's just like Matt Lewis. It's just like a young hot TikToker because I don't want to look like shit. Like, no, yeah, know. you definitely need to have someone young. Definitely not me or Jennifer Coolidge. You could play Jennifer Coolidge in a movie, though. Like, you definitely could play her. I so would. I want a hot dog real bad. Oh, that was Whatever pretty good. She says. Do you take that as an insult? Because didn't Jeff say you were? No, me? I don't I either. I love her, but it's the highest honor. You because, you're, but you're also very young and small and petite, so I'd be like, it's not kind of insulting to you. I love her, not but. even though, honestly, and I, obviously we talk about. It, I'm like mentally forty, so it's like. I'll take Jennifer. Do Coolidge. you feel older than you are? For sure. Yeah, sure. I feel eighty. <laughs> I'm tapped out. <laughs> but it you know is what? crazy, and to see all these people, I've had so many like TikTokers that come on here, and everyone loves you. Everyone's like, I love Tana so much. They all like look up to you. It's like, what do you think like when you meet these people who are like, you are my idol? I, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, but I think that the the traumatized coagulate together. Right. You know, uh, yeah. the, you know, trauma finds trauma and that's, you know, so whenever someone's like, you raised me, I'm like, okay, so we have a lot in common. Yeah. You know? You're and like, oh no, what's your, what's your problem? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. what, what's going on with you? And I, I'm happy to be that voice and uh, hopefully show those people who've been through anything that they can do whatever they put their I mind to. I think that's what they like, the inspiration of it all, like mm-hmm. the, where you came from and how open mm-hmm. you are and like your growth of it is like really impressive. And, and I just always want to let people know, like, I've just been, same as you, like, I know you resonate with this more than anyone, but like we had no plan or crazy managers or we just put our whole life out there and everyone has seen our entire Art. journey <laughs> yeah, and trajectory and, yeah. and everything has just been out there. And it's like, that's what life is. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's why to me, canceled culture is so silly. Cause it's like, you should respect people who are just putting their whole lives out there and living it. And that's bound to come with mistakes and, Especially when you, you know. put so much like vulnerable stuff out there, like Matt real Wright stuff. for president. Kidding. No, <laughs> but he doesn't show his real side. I feel like if we saw know, the realness, then you have more empathy yeah. for it. So much more empathy. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? That has... was a joke. <laughs> that was a big, <laughs> big, big clipped. joke. Yeah, it's gonna. He's gonna like fucking. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes cancel culture. I think is like okay. Sometimes you know what I mean. Like yeah. some people like should sometimes be canceled. you love to see it. You know, and like, <laughs> or more like. You know, learn learn something from mm. this. You know what I mean? Because mm. some people are just like wild and they don't know it. You know what I mean? But I think like you always learn something. You're always apologizing. You're always that's, like. I, I appreciate every time I've ever been canceled because I think it like same. made me grow. And th- that's why I feel so sad for the people who are so egotistical that they can't see it like that. It's crazy. To not like, be like, oh, maybe I was wrong about this or something like yeah. that. Or just keep it moving. I feel like someone like Theo Vaughn like never addresses things when people are mad. At, like just keep it moving. Yeah. Like, and be addressing- funny. Right. so funny. You know? <laughs> right. To address every little thing and then go on like Jordan Peterson and just yeah. like all the stuff. I'm like, this is so what? Anyways, I'm so over talking about Matt, right? I don't know. We talk about him on podcasts. I'm, like, I'm over this person. I don't want to talk yeah. about him anymore. No more. But- no more. We're, we will leave that to Brooke and we will leave that we will share her story. 2023, yeah. Yes. But Trisha, I love you. I'm so happy I got close with you I this know, year. I love this- you. Today is the last day I'm like podcasting with anyone, I think, for the rest of the year. Maybe Amanda Bynes will see, but oh my other than that, when like, will you know that? I Tomorrow. Don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. hopefully she hits me. We can back cut it out. Up, you don't but... want to put it out. Yeah, but no, I, mean, that's I want some, it out there. That is. <laughs> That is the most iconic thing I think you'll ever do. I'm I'm gonna be so gagged. Oh my god! So answer my Facetime when I get there. Oh, uh, <laughs> tomorrow I'll be on and I'll be like, oh my gosh, that'd be so wild. I love her more than anything. Mm-hmm. I feel like she's gone through so much. She's like my idol. Like I just loved 100%. her as a child. Like Absolutely. everything she did, the Amanda Bynes show, like so yeah. iconic. She shaped us for sure. You should so do that sound, the TikTok sound. Like I'd love to do iconic shit. Like that's yes. what you should do with her because she's yes. <gasps> See you guys together. And she's so blonde right now. So you guys will match. You guys will be like 20. Absolutely. I might leave with a face tattoo too. I've always wanted one. Would you get one? No, I think I passed that phase. Oh, okay. I almost did and everyone had to talk me out of it. Amari, I think, held me at gunpoint and he was like, you can't do that. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Well, I am so excited. I'm so excited to come on Cancel. Me too. And And what's your Christmas plans look like? Did we talk about that? Going to Vegas, being at home with the fam and being really wholesome. And you guys are having Christmas here, huh? We're having Christmas here. I'm so excited. I know Malibu's about to open up. And Rolls Royce. Like, <laughs> are you kidding? Like, what have you gotten her? I need to know. Oh, you know what? She's one. So we're not going too crazy because I'm like, there's 17 more birthdays that we have to go a little nuts for. Yeah. I wanted to get her one of those blinged out cars. The There's one in Neiman Marcus. Yeah. But I'm just like, I don't know if she'll appreciate it yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. She doesn't really 
yeah. grasp everything. So enjoy the little phase while they're not like requesting iPads and shit. That's how yeah. I feel. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. there's gonna be so much, and I'm just like, she's she's happy with just her little toys, her little people right mm. now. But we do have we have something for you before you go, Trisha. I love giving gifts, and I got you a little gift, Trisha. Moses with the gifts. Okay. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Here, I'll, or I, I'll, I'll open it. Do you, okay. yes. Do you know I was actually just spending this entire podcast like scheming on what I'm going to get you. Do so you not I get me it. anything. Oh, this I'm is, this is be, you've done literally, this is like your fourth episode. We no, always no, do no, no, no. So oh, baby, well. baby, baby, you're getting a gift. You brought, I just no. want you to know I'm so, so fucking bad at accepting gifts, but I know how you are and you're like me and I know you're like fucking open it and love it. And I like, hope you love it. I don't know. I just, I feel. Trisha, I look at that Adam Sandler bag you got me every single day <laughs> and I thank God for knowing you. Well, this is not and quite an Adam Sandler bag. I just but. want you to know that like you are my biggest gift. You really are. You like, you are the best gift I could ever ask for your friendship and I love you and I feel the you. same way about you. I really do. You've really just helped me this year on a personal level, on a career level, like everything about you. I, just, I feel the same exact way. I love you so much. So. I love you so much. I hope you like it. I don't know. This is a bag that I've been eyeing. I'm just like, this Trisha. is like my this bitch no <laughs> but don't get me you know like I, I get the same you know color. I get and I, I'm like ripping the walls not in the brook and I'm pooping way but Trish <laughs> no I'm like not great at gift giving but this bag I'm just like oh this you is like you are cute. the gift you are amazing at okay, everything okay. you do you are an icon and I swear to god you said what's 2024 for you it is by the end of the year you knowing how much of an icon and amazing human being you maybe, are maybe maybe by next year that's all I want for Christmas next year are you fucking kidding me okay the ultimate it bag for the it girl. Thanks for being an amazing friend. <laughs> like, I'm gonna cry. Same. Oh my god, you made me cry. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god, you don't even know what it is yet. Because I love you so oh, much. I'm yeah, I really all do rest. love you. No, everything about you is amazing and beautiful, and I love you, and I'm so. Can we frame this? <laughs> Promise. The printed card. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Oh, you bitch, I'm going to buy you all of Chanel. <laughs> I swear to God, you're going to walk into the fucking canceled podcast and I'm going to have a car. No, don't give me anything. Oh, my God. We need eight hot pink boy bags from no. Chanel right now. Jumbo, flap, silver, and gold hardware. Okay, hopefully you like it. Shut up. I'm going to love it. I hope it's the right thing because it came wrapped, so I'm hoping it's the right bag. Moses, I love you too. <laughs> Moses over there with the phone. I love Moses so much. Everyone. <laughs> Can you see it? Is it could it? be Coach, and it's in a Bottega dust bag. Trish, well, I know you're a Bottega girly. You and Brooke got me on the Bottega. I know you do Bottega sometimes, but we got... I can't breathe. I'm holding my breath when I get on the I just want you to know you could have got me, like, a sack with, like, a stick and, like, a bandana. I know. I've got you the Adam Sandler one, and you were excited. I was like, girl, that's a $30 bag. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Trisha, how... Trisha... Trisha, girl. Trisha, I, there's a t- price tag on it. Oh my gosh! And everyone's <laughs> gonna die. No, everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Trisha paid us for doing this. Now we will get Malibu College Fund. <laughs> this is a college fund. You have been. This is a college fund. Four episodes of my show. I, the one every episode. <laughs> Trisha, oh my god, hours. I'm so sorry. I, I know. Oh my god. Why oh, is it a tag? It was supposed to gift. It's literally no. a gift wrap. I already, I already knew how much the bag was. Oh my I said, god. You are psych. Oh my god. <laughs> I got chills. <laughs> can we so return it? With it? No. Please, can we return Girl, it? it's the least I can do. Oh my god, I should have you a car. I should have got you a Rolls Royce. <laughs> page, 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 page. Get the MX out. <laughs> Take out a loan. Trisha. I love you. <laughs> oh Thank you for everything. Oh my god. Seriously, I really appreciate everything. I can't accept this. No, girl. This is the least, least. It's the just, tea <laughs> mic sent me into oblivion the today. Mic. You have no idea how you've changed my whole perspective on people, influencers. Like, you've helped me so much with this show, and I really mean it. I'm going to cry. Like, all your episodes, everything. People love you. People, everyone says, You're like, so you and Tana. And, like, I just, I really appreciate you. I feel like I've gotten this, like, fifth life because of you this year on the show. So, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. Oh, my God. Like, so emotional. No, you're like such a good person for real. Like you're really like I can just tell from all your friends, everyone who's around you. Like you're. I will have your back for the rest of your life. No, I know you always have all through everything. You always have.
We write it down, Patricia. We write it down. <laughs> so happy holidays. Thank you. No. Seriously, girl. Thank you for everything. We, I swear to God, I swear to God, we can go return it right no, now. No, no. That bag, I was just like, we I love it. We can get Malibu textbooks. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. She'll be fine, trust me. Trish. Yeah, yeah. she'll be good. <laughs> Trisha loves to say she's not rich. Are you kidding me? Did, like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't even want to tell the viewers how much is bad coffee. You don't need it. It's just cute. Now you have me pissed because I'm like, what am I going to get? <laughs> Shit's so hard. People, up, I just know. I'm like, well, Bottega's a very in. I almost got the Kim Dolce purse, but this one was a little bougie and it's Bottega. So I was like, this one's better. I don't think I, like, I'm terrified if I am to keep it and you don't let me let you return it. Girl, you're keeping it. I'm going to rip the tag off with my teeth right now. Don't rip it off with your teeth. <laughs> I don't think I could ever carry it. Like, I want it in a glass case. I'm about to start being like you and have a Trisha this glass case. But what I thought is, like, this reminded me of very, like, Maui mermaid, like, fishnet. Like, you know, like a fish. I almost got you, like, a Louis Vuitton. They make a Hawaii one. But I'm like, mm, no, it was, like, used and cheap. And I was just like, no, this one's, like, mermaid and Maui. Like, this gave me that wedding vibes if you have, like, a rehearsal dinner one day, you know? It's very um, the C word, if you will. It's very, very C word. So, I don't think you said it once this I episode. Know. Honestly, yeah. bleep me. I'm sorry, Oscar. You, this, this is so. <laughs> you are that. You, I love Say Moses. Off. You're so. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm like staring at my frame photo here. Like I just can't deal. This I is know. my Disney. Yeah, no, I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you so much for coming on the final episode of Just Trish. It means a lot. I know you were like so busy this week too. So I kept saying it's fine, it's fine, and you're like we're making this happen. Hannah Sorry, Mojo, I'm, everybody. For once, I'm at a Can't loss for stop. words. Um, just and Trish. Just Trish, baby. Yay. We ride a dawn for Trisha, bitches. <laughs>